Shazam. Hey, everybody. All bricks count. And yes, we're live. Doing another Clone Wars era set. This time, Cad Bane's speeder. Cad Bane's one of my favorite characters to come out of Star Wars, bar none. And I thought I'd build a small set tonight. This should be a single stream build. Ryan might join us. We will see. So this is, what would I say this was? Oh, it's on the screen. 2010 set. No box damage. It's been, in, <laughs> it's been in the collection for a while. All right, we're on Twitch too. Awesome. Cad Bane, Shahan Alama, Senate Commando, a Senate Commando Captain, and an Assassin Droid, which is basically an IG-88 type model. Yeah, no sweat. You got the link if you want it. Let me know how my audio is, because right now I got things screaming at me that I'm muted, but shouldn't be. If so, I'm in big trouble. <sighs> I get every one of the other sets here, except I don't know where this is. 8095. I was looking for it earlier. Don't need that running the whole time. I find it distracting anyway. Yeah, if I cut it this way. I always worry about some of the older sets that I bought. Oh no, curly stickers. Ah, oh, that's going to be so bad. Well, we will do what we can, and if I got to order more, that's going to be bad. Oh my god, that book looks even worse than the stickers. Wow. Like usual, the one I'm building's up behind me. Ooh, it looks so bad. Wow. Oh, those stickers. Are they going to go? Yeah. Well, you know what? Maybe I can hide the sins. Wow, not a big build. 318 pieces. Oh, and that's... That's an open bag. There's Cad Bane head, so. Yeah, we'll put those stickers aside for now. Although I don't think I should add them to a heat source. Oh, I hate the fact. Hmm. Might have to do a trick. We will see. Should I, should I? Oh. Gonna do an audio test here. Hang on. Okay. 
can't hear you. Yeah. One, two, three, one, two, three. 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 All right. Okay, so we know that's working. Ooh, you know what? I'm worried about crazy glue. That one might have crazy glue on it. I was gluing something. You know, I don't really want to have these on the table tonight. Let's see how we do without it. I might regret it. See how my new setup with no tweak lighting does. All I did was tweak my focus and not shift. So I hate that because this screen, this screen. Okay, if I leave it on this screen, maybe it won't yell at me that it's muted. Yeah, it's a bit disappointing about those stickers. Not the first time. I had uh, another similarly aged set. But when I went to build it, the figures were really rough. Not figures. Stickers. In such rough shape that I applied them, but then I had to reorder them. You think I should call Lego say, hey, there's this 11-year-old set in my collection. Your stickers were trash. Can you hook me up? Let's see what happens if I lower that a bit more. I just got to pay attention where my hands are. Some figures... Don't want those rolling away. No number bags. That's the truth is I didn't even look at it. Up in the age, I already knew that. There's this hat. for the figs here. Oh my god, this is so nasty. Is there a good way to fix these creases? I don't know. Should almost just work from a digital copy, maybe. Here, who is that? Helmets. I 
I hate the clone era faces. They're just so ridiculous looking. Okay, you're clearly this. We don't need the knife. Lots of guns. Got me some power aid. Shorter guns. That's the Cad Bane piece there. Cad Bane head. Such a cool character. I was going to say his eyes are printed high, but he's not a human. And I'm still missing, let's see, another Senate, Senate Commando. Okay, we're going to, I think that's going to be the legs for this guy. Shahan. Lots of guns. Okay, and I'm going to make an educated guess. Yes. So I just need gray legs and a couple of, one more head. Should be a gray. Okay. That'll be Sahan. I don't like the way black, black is kind of dark gray. And who's hanging around? Good evening, Mr. Blue. And Ryan, he's got to use the crank on his laptop. Like the rotary dial phones. Well, you weren't hard to find. He found you here. Oh, nice. Jazz was streaming earlier. Ah, there she is. Good evening, Mama Lego. Ah, uh, one more set of legs. That's something that I have high, high anxiety about too because I don't get a lot of minifigure loose parts. Ooh, neat part. There we go. Let the building begin. So which way is his... Is that supposed to be behind him? Oh, that's supposed to be behind him. I just love this guy. He's so you know, bounty hunter-ish, space cowboy-ish. I don't want to muck up that face print. There. Much more forward. But yeah, I was tweaking, 
two of my cameras. <laughs> I actually end up trashing part of my setup. Uh, tried to use crazy glue to fix something that didn't work. All right, so these two guns for Cad Bane. I like the old, I guess this is old gray or old dark gray. Very cool figure. Actually, that's going to get poor light. But yeah, this will show off the figures more later. I should turn on another light this way. Hmm. Shahan Alama. There is a name. This looks like a typical scoundrel. Ooh. I wonder if that's that makes it rare at all. Pearl gold arm, pearl gold hand. I think it's pearlized gold. Okay, I need one more short gun. Gotta be another gun here, right? There we go. I got about 30 of each floating around if I really need them. And a regular Senate Commando. Gets a regular clone head. Long rifle. Oh, yeah. You were able to get these in a battle pack and maybe even one other set, but I'm pretty sure maybe, maybe it was just a battle pack. Take it easy, Mama. One-sided head for the Senate Commandos. So, I haven't collected the parts for the Assassin Droid. Once I find the legs, I'll know if it's tr truly black, because I see robot arms. One straight, one bent, so it's likely it. Now I need the legs. Here, I'll take another arm just in case. And what else we got? Oh, I didn't set my chair up, did I? There we go. A little higher. Now it makes me feel like I'm going to fall over. What am I missing? A robot body. Mama, don't go. All right. So we got everything. So stud to the back. Well, I don't actually have everything. Oh, and I'm going to need like a black wrench. We're going to insert some parts on top of that. So, believe it or not, there's a right way and a wrong way to put the arms on these guys. Shazam! Hello! Hello. Looks like you were having fun today in the sun. Yeah. They said he's got one kid. Uh, one kid <laughs> over there. 
and the other one was on the computer. Uh, the other ones, he was actually he was building Lego, building Lego, and watching Minecraft videos. Oh, that's while he does it. Yeah. No, it was just too nice, but the humidity in Toronto. Oh, was it high? Yeah. Well, I mean, twenty eight felt like thirty two. I guess I shouldn't be complaining too much, but it felt. Yeah. It felt so much worse than it was. It it hit thirty five here today, and there's very low humidity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was just a dry heat. It's still. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure it's. Well, it was seven o'clock by the time supper got here. That was late ordering, and uh, I think it was still like thirty-one or thirty-two out. Right. So actually, feels not too bad out there now in the in the backyard in the shade. And there's a bit of a breeze. It felt kind of nice. That was a nice thing about bike riding. We were making our own breeze. And I told my daughter, I said, "Faster you go, the cooler you yeah. feel." Yeah. It's like, yeah. Mm. So my wife did end up finding us some poutine. That was good. Yeah. And it turns out the store didn't go out of business. They just closed for renovations. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. I mean, they're okay. I mean, they're expensive, but whatever. Yeah. It's not like it's a place we eat at much. Well, mine cost 15 bucks, but it's a big, big portion of poutine. And I eat it all. And I got a sore belly, but I, I'm happy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate these colors. I am having a problem already. I'm looking like... Uh, well, it's like... Yeah. This, Black, dark gray, this and light gray look all the same. <laughs> yeah, in, in this manual here, um, this is going to be basically dark gray. The darkest gray, I think, is going to be this. Yeah. And then based on my pieces, <laughs> what I think is light gray is going to be this. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not sure yet how this one's represented. Uh... Yeah, I know. You almost <laughs> need to get to where there's all three on the page, and then you, you can kind of figure it out. But Yeah. I know I've, yeah, usually it's like the black and dark gray, like trying to differentiate between those two, and then the dark gray and light gray are tough to. And see, and then here, I'm not sure. I mean, keep in mind, this is sealed set, so it's not even, it's not used, it's not a, like, color aged or anything. Yeah. Now, for the most part, these are the same color. Yeah. But in certain light, this piece is slightly different than this. Oh, yeah. And I'm not sure if that was a quality control issue, but it's like, to me, it's visibly different. But then I do yeah. have a lot more light than most people. <laughs> I so mean, did you did you dump everything out then? Yeah, everything is here. There's oh, okay. no no numbered bags in this. Plus, I had a broken oh. bag. So, yeah, well, so 20, 2010, pretty much nothing was numbered, if I recall. Oh, okay. Do you know? Do you remember when they went to numbered? Oh, it wasn't long after that. Yeah. It. Yeah, but 2010 pretty much is a line that I seem to recall being. Yeah, you're not getting numbered I, anything. Plus, okay. the color variations in the manual don't help. I wonder if uh, I'm willing to bet it was when they went to five digit set numbers. I wonder. Because I know the Rancor pit, the Rancor pit is numbered bags. Yeah. Now is it like twenty twelve or twelve or thirteen? I seen the gunship is numbered, so. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, so I definitely figured out what's black in this. Yep. Okay. <laughs> That's see. crazy. Crazy. Fun. Gonna build a snow speeder. Well, that's 2014. That's number two. <clears throat> this is for the and sake of science. I need to cut open every box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Another one of my used sets. Oh, hang on a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's. I got a story about that one. So let me do this. 
Yeah. Now that's set. I got a really good deal from uh, Lasting Toys when they were here in Mississauga, city away from me. Um, they were the only real independent Lego store. Yeah. And I don't mean use crap like whatever that one is out near you guys. I don't yeah. mean that. I mean, an actual new box, the whole store, they had better stock than Lego did consistently. And they kept stuff on the shelf after retirement, usually at the at retail price or very, very slightly over. Yeah. Hey, Jordan, how you doing? Um, but yeah, I mean, I got that set there on the shelf one or two years or whatever it was. Because what year was that one? That uh, this was for 2014, it says. Yeah, see, they were still open. I tell you, man, so many of us in the Toronto and GTA area, we cried. Man, it was something else when that store closed. And they had, they, you know, Le Lego was basically cutting them off at the nuts, making yeah. it impossible for them to order. Um, isn't there a drugstore or something up by you guys that. Drug Town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Drug Town Pharmacy. And that's, um, for me, it's 8K away. It's not far. And um, privately owned independent drugstore, and the guy who runs it, he puts his personal collection on the shelves. Oh yeah, for, for sale at very good pricing. Um, very fair, very fair. Because even when he goes over the retail original, it's it's still better than BrickLink and shipping and everything. So yeah, and he's got even I forget what he puts on the shelf. If you've got a request. He's got it, and he can pull it out for you or arrange to bring it in on another day. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I I was going to go in there the other day just to look, and I thought, no, if I go in just to look, I'm going to buy. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's really no point in looking. Yeah. You know you're going to uh, find something. Yeah. And if not for me, for someone else, like, and I don't like to be that guy. I don't want to start grabbing something because I know someone else wants it. It's like, ah. yeah. I'm a nice guy, but I'm not that nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I Seriously, I, was, I, I'm, I, I say it. I'm tired and cranky. I'm old yeah. and cranky. <laughs> this is literally, wow. I'm just going by shapes here almost. <laughs> the colors are almost irrelevant. Like, should there be... I feel like there should be another black piece. Okay. Yeah, thank God this is a small set because I don't know if I could do hours or days of... What color is this? Yeah, I'm thinking, eh? <laughs> It's like, oh my God. <clears throat> Definitely gone back to the challenge mode of Lego. But I figure my plan is to continue to build out clone era sets until I get to a point where I either don't want to do them anymore or I have none left. Yeah. So you lose, start losing interest? Yeah. You know, having just rewatched the Clone Wars, um, ooh, 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 ooh. what was that? I think that was Ken. All right. Oh, here's Ken. Ken Wentz. I do... Uh, Ken's asking a good question. I do sometimes, but you know what? This is 300 pieces. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I didn't think it'd be necessary, but maybe if I'd done a color sort, it might, it might have helped a little. I'm all over the map when it comes to the techniques. Like when I, you know, all my old mega builds where you had no choice, I spend one, two hours sorting. And honestly, it's not fun for anyone. Yeah, I sat in on a few of those streams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After two hours, like, well, 
time to start filming. <laughs> yeah. It's like, and it's like, don't time to time for bed. <laughs> yeah. Geez, it's like two in the morning here. I think I'm going to have to call it a night. <laughs> Ken's up to date on the Bad Batch. I'm not. I forgot to watch today's yeah, I, episode. You know what? The last few weeks, it's been Sunday night before I was like, you know what? I never did watch it. So, yeah, it's usually after supper Sunday night. And get around to watch I it. Thought, I thought about it, Ken. I got all my trays handy. I got 12 of them beside me, but eh. <clears throat> Passing on that right now. See if I regret it. And I thought I would try something new, and I'm doing no color tweaking, very, very minimal brightness tweaking. I did. Because one problem is when you're doing the color checks, like I, I don't mind it a little ex overexposed, like to make it brighter or whatever. But one of the problems I found was I'm doing all that testing on 32 inches. But then I watch stuff. I assume a lot of people do on the TV. Well, mine's 65 inches. So it's when you blow it up even bigger, it tends to fade and wash stuff out even more. Yeah. So I got to be really careful. Unless it's the des unless that's a desired effect, I got to be really careful how much I blow out the visuals because then you don't see anything, right? Oh, where's that silly piece? Ken was searching for a um, wheel flare for, I guess, car sets or whatever. At least that's what I call it. Maybe one by six, and it had the wheel flare. Um, and I checked my personal collection. It's like, that's just something I don't got much of. You know, you think you have a lot of Lego and you got a lot of spares, but constantly surprised at what you don't have when someone asks you something like oh no i don't have it like uh, minifigure parts right yeah i don't got i don't have a lot of loose minifigure parts and all my loose stuff because i i didn't go after city kind of sets for one in a big way and i didn't get a lot of loose figure parts in bulk believe it or not at least not ones that were worth keeping there was plenty of dog chewed whatever yeah and ones with questionable brown material <laughs> shoved yeah. into torsos like maybe i won't even watch that we'll just get rid of that not even play that game well that's why i figured i might as well come out and just ask you when my uh our the santa set <laughs> oh yeah 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 and i mentioned because my wife is the one that brought it up uh, so I, we were talking about tonight. I pulled her aside and said, "You do I'll realize?" I'll see if I can dig up a short list of a few that I'm willing to part with, and we'll see if there's. I don't know if it's going to be the one. Yeah, I, said, I told Chantal. I said, "Do you realize how much that like?" I found a couple on like eBay and stuff. Like, this is how much they well, are. Honestly, like, eBay. Oh my is, god, it is the worst. <laughs> but if it's the only option, sometimes, right? Yeah. Exactly. It definitely, there's not many of them. Like, uh, mind you, I didn't look at Bricklink yet. I never did log on to it to see what. Ken's asking. This set was a new set. Sealed bags, except one that was inside and got torn, and the labels got kind of mangled. I don't know if you saw that, Ryan, but yeah, look, I got one that's half off the sheet here. Oh, so really? Not, yeah, and the book was completely <laughs> folded up in there. I mean, you know, 11 years bouncing around. Yeah. And I bought it from, actually, this set was from Drugtown Pharmacy, now that I think about it. Honestly, I think I remember you saying you got it from there. Yeah. I scored plenty of older sets, uh, Star Wars sets from him, and uh, glad for it. But now that I think about it, that's the second time I had rolled labels now, too. Because <laughs> yeah. there, there was another one from him. Yeah, but I, I can't say that has anything to do with him. There's no knowing. It's an older set. It's been bouncing around. Yeah, you can get that with new sets. So. <clears throat> For the train trestle. Is that what you call that part, Ken? <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, you know what, Ken? We uh, we don't want to say audibly, so you should message Ryan about that, just in oh. case little little ears are listening. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying to be uh, stealth dads here. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to be smart about what we say. Well, it's like, hey, trust me, from now on, I'm going to be a very careful what I say about work because I, <laughs> I have a lot of coworkers now. Yeah. A, you see my numbers tick up a little bit more, and it's like, yeah, I got some coworkers. Because they go, <laughs> oh, I was watching this and that. I go, really? That's just <laughs> an odd thing for you to click on. And it's like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to be a little bit more careful. That's okay, though. <laughs> I know your manager's watching. <laughs> yeah. Actually, one of my new supervisors, he's pretty pretty cool for a young guy. He might do, I shouldn't say might, like I said, he could end up be listening to, but I think he's going to do okay in the organization. You know, guys who don't say no often do well. That's what I find. Okay, so it's going to be the same color as that. Yay, that helps. Bottom it's, of a hinge. It's one of those things you sometimes, it, uh, whether you like it or not, it's the way it is, and you got to think that will be done a certain way, and you just do it, eh? Yeah. That's what I'm finding a lot with us. There's not not everything I agree with, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. So. Oh, it was almost outright war at work yesterday. <laughs> too many bosses right and it's like oh i yeah. can't keep doing this so i literally went to my end of the warehouse and just like kind of put my fingers in my ears yeah richard richard <laughs> i answered <laughs> nobody it's like nope leave me out I'm, of it <laughs> i'm too busy i'm busy trucks are getting loaded sorry guys they give me just enough wiggle room to do what needs to get done and I know they appreciate the fact it gets done. Because if I'm doing it, it will get done. Even if it's not <laughs> sometimes in the ideal way or whatever. It's like, no, Rick will get it done. Rick stayed after work to get it done. Everyone else bolted. <laughs> well, you know, Thursday's the end of our four-day work week. So it's like, yeah, everyone... On Thursday night, you can't get anyone to stay. Normally, you can't get me to stay. I don't want to stay either. I'm no hero. But I don't like to leave my stuff undone. Especially if I came up with an idea. It's like, oh, now i got to fall on the sword. This was my dumb idea. Yeah. <laughs> I said yeah, I, I always hate it. Uh, I don't like leaving things. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, like once it starts something, I prefer to finish it and not have to you get to work the next day and you, that's you, now you got to deal with it right as soon as you get there or just stay a little later and yeah. get it done. Then you can start well, fresh our, in the morning. One of our biggest problems was we had virtually no empty trailers. <laughs> and we can only go about an hour in the morning on a 10-hour day yeah. before that becomes a problem and you can only double deck and stack stuff so high and it's like oh because you know uh finalized product pick product yeah. is usually not very stackable um so you know we're running out of space we're waiting for trailers to come in that are empty and it's like oh what are we gonna do and you know i come up with solutions and they're not ideal sometimes but i make it work and then it's like, okay, we're going to keep playing this game all day because no matter what, we're never going to catch up. We're not getting the empty trailers fast enough. Yeah. And uh, then it got to a point like we're getting near the end of the day and one boss is suggesting one way of doing things. And I know in my head just through my own experience that I could do it that way, but it's not going to solve the problem. But if I go a little yeah. rogue on my own... Well, they may not like it by the end of the day. They're going to be pleased that I did it. So it's better yeah. to ask for um, forgiveness, you know, than permission. I kind of live by that motto. <laughs> yeah. 
And sure enough, my idea was great, but by the end of the day, I wasn't done. It's like, oh, got to put in, it was only like 15 extra minutes. It wasn't much, but I wanted it done because it was my dumb idea. Yeah. I think Ken just messaged me, but I, I'm running a time lapse, so I can't check my phone. So <clears throat> I'll message you after I can let you know what I'm looking for. Yep. Now that Ryan's a YouTuber, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we got it. We got to work with uh, on his schedule now. He's too busy for us. <laughs> yeah, I'm one, of, I'm, I'm one of those guys now. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> hey, I'm happy. I'm getting some nice comments from some people lately on a couple of videos. Like, that's eh, really nice, you know? And some interesting questions, too. It's like, that's cool. Yeah. I always, it's, a, it's, oh, it's always weird when they come back to me, though, on old videos. Like, the, it's not necessarily the newest one, you know? Oh, yeah. They're, or they, they look at the newest one and they go back and like, oh, that's cool. Or... Okay, well, Ken, you do have the right name, just so you know. You got the right, uh, yeah, you got the right last name for Ryan. Oh, yeah, I tell, I, I got his notification. I saw it pop up my phone, but I'll, I'll check okay. it after. Yeah. I'll put back on the first tab. I know, um, that's actually one of the nice things I've liked about putting the videos up so far, just reading the comments and stuff. Yeah. You got any spam yet? Um, you know, I only got spam. The first, the first video I did, the first comment was a spam one. That it was up and I didn't quite understand it. And then it disappeared. Do you see like three hour. digits dot and then three digits and it's some sort of link? Yeah. Yeah. There, yeah, I find it very common. I get it on every video. I usually have to do one or two reports. And sometimes by the time I go to report it, it's already been removed by YouTube. Just because yeah, the like, same spammer is doing it to everybody. Um, but yeah, hey, that just means, you know, you, you, you now noticed. Yeah. <laughs> when, the, when the spammers have caught on, that you're, uh, you're yeah. doing something like, yep, yeah, you made it. I know that. Yeah, that was like, like you say, it was the first video, and, and within like half an hour, that was the first thing that popped up. Oh. Because uh, I think I asked you and somebody else, and they're they're like, oh, that's spam. And then it was like okay. an hour later, it was gone. They had, yeah, it had been removed. Yeah, usually I'm fortunate. And I, I want to say almost half the time, YouTube's really dealt with it before I really get to see it. So, I mean, on that account, I'm happy. <laughs> I find I'm constantly going on YouTube Studio to see. Oh, I got, I got one more view. I got one new view. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> or after a week, I'm like, oh, I got a new subscriber. Woo! I got 22. <laughs> I went on. <laughs> so I went on Rumble, which is another video service. I won't say it's fun or easy, just as another option. Yeah. Oh, pain in the ass to use. Not fun mm -hmm. at all. Yeah, I technically needed two apps, one to do the social part and one to use the camera. And it's like, this is just not easy, guys. You, If you yeah. want to compete with YouTube, you got to make it easy. Then there's Parler, which is kind of a cross between Twitter and YouTube or and it's supposed to be a little bit more free. I know it has kind of a bad rep, you know, um, the election thing last, you know, with Trump and all that, because they got blamed for being the launch point for some of the crap. And it's like, oh, please, oh, yeah. that's not just as much crap on Facebook and YouTube promoting oh, yeah. the violence and what happened on Capitol Hill as what happened on Parler. But, you know, it's the whole you can't start a new tech thing without the old tech guys trying to squash you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Parler's kind of a non-starter right now. I'm hoping they make a turnaround. That's kind of neat. The, uh, like the blaster they use for the, 
snow trooper or whatever. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's like yeah, you, 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 that's the build one. You, you had to build it, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, that one's an okay little set. Plus, I love the snow speeders. I got a story about the snow speeders. The um but this goes back not to Lego, but this goes back to the Kenner Toys. The Kenner Toys, when my dad was all into buying me, like the first wave of them, the X-Wing, the TIE Fighter, the Falcon, and the yeah. Land Speeder. Those were the first four I remember. And then I got a few others. And then the Snow Speeder was funny because it actually came to me through a family friend who got it through um, a garbage man, believe it or not. So it was rec literally reclaimed, but it didn't have the two gun parts. Literally from the dump. Not even kidding. Right. But it the rest of it was in really good condition. So this is a Kenner Snowspeeder. And so my mom, she goes on, you know, not online back then, but this is, you know, she calls up Kenner. Yeah. And you know what? They sent her out the two guns oh, really? and, and a new sticker sheet. The thing was brand new to start. It was just missing the guns, right? Yeah. But it was from reclaim whatever from the garbage. And it's like, sweet. Yeah. You know, these are little things my parents had taught me. Like, you, do, you don't have to give up on something. Uh, yeah. in, in a weird way, my parents were the original recyclers. Um, <laughs> but I think mostly because we were cheap and didn't have much money. But, um, you know, I was uh, smart. My, uh, my wife and her brother, they told me about this a few times. They When they were kids, they used to go on... Like they were, they were probably like uh, eight or nine, and six, they were three years apart. Anyway, they they'd go in the kitchen and they dig stuff out of the cupboards and like food products and this and that. And they'd yeah. find usually yeah. like a one eight hundred number or something on the back of the box. Yeah. So they call they'd call just randomly call these companies toll free, and be like, oh, we really like your product and blah blah blah, and they'd actually get. These companies would send care packages every now and then. <laughs> no way. Yeah. I was like, I never, ever would have dreamed of like doing that. But yeah, it worked. Didn't I didn't happen all the time, but yeah, every now and then. I told you a story later, with the Ray Bands. Later. I done that and I got Ray Bands that way. Had one pair and um, we called us called the number and end up getting a box of them because it was a little yeah. issue, right? And, and there's customer service, so it's great to call numbers, even randomly, just to see what you can yeah. get. Ken was first commenting on the parlor. Yeah, I know. that, And that's one of the reasons I was looking at it, because <laughs> some of the guys I follow on YouTube, they're badly censored. Okay, he is and I, I, or shadow banned. So right. they cross promote onto so, Parlor. So that's how I learned about it. Uh, and then Ken goes, We are forced to build the Ideas Birds set yesterday. All because uh, I ran into the bookshelf. All three <laughs> fell off and smashed. Oh, I like the way he said forced to build it. <laughs> I, hey, if you ever feel forced to build the bird set, send them my way. Because <laughs> that set's got a blue jay. So I would love to, I would love to build it. You know, love the Blue Jays. When, what's uh, the only thing that helped was when two of them hit, uh, fell, they landed in a pail in front. Also, at least it kept all the garbage together, all the loose parts. That's rare that you get that lucky. That's a nice set, though. I'm hoping that we'll see more along that line with birds. But wouldn't it be nice to have like a tall macaw or or something pretty, you know, as a bird? Now that we've got the flower sets coming out, and I want I want to see more of those kinds of builds. Okay, I got a really funny story. <laughs> you mentioned macaw. Uh -oh. Last year there was a guy come into our branch, and he had like this fedora on, and uh, <laughs> he had this feather stuck in his cap, <laughs> this big feather. And he was hanging around the showroom. He didn't want to come up to the counter, but he's walking around. And one of our salesmen, he's he's quite the card. He'll uh, he likes to joke around. And he sees this guy and he walks up and he's like, Hey, how are you? And blah blah blah. And he's like, 
hey, is that a macaw feather? And the guy's like, oh, yeah. And he goes on and spins his story and spins feathers. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> and it turns out, I don't know what he was in the branch for. I, like, I think maybe he was just lonely and just hanging around. <laughs> he wasn't in there to do anything. I think he would just <laughs> look for somebody to talk to. Oh, we laughed. Oh, yeah, it's a macaw feather. <laughs> I think you just kind of went on with what, what Mike was saying. <laughs> It's oh. so so random. <laughs> yeah. Hey, is that a, oh yeah, it is. <laughs> I want. Hey, here's something. Lego could start making more. Po how about political statues? <laughs> oh. uh. No, right now, every day I turn on the news, and of course, we have Ryerson here, right, in Toronto area. And of course, Egerton Ryerson, he's the one who came up with the modern public school system in Canada. He also came up with the, um, you know, the uh, indigenous schools, the Catholic oh. schools. Yeah. And of Did course, that's all the news. Well, you know, you. I understand the 215 that they found out there and yeah. they will find more because here's the thing. This isn't as bad as the government side of this problem is. These were Catholic schools and anyone who understands anything about the church and schooling, things happen for whatever reason, not judging, but yeah. where do you bury people? Every church I know, old church, the property, on you know where the church is or adjacent to it there's bodies you know yeah. and not always documented and not always with a a stone or a cross and there's reasons for that some good some bad and it's like uh, i know our government's getting their ass handed to them but of course it, it wasn't any current government that did any of this either you know yeah and that and it's and it's not me being a pc guy because it's the low you know liberals are running the federal the feds right now you know so this isn't a a partisan thing this is i i'm not blaming blaming any current government for this stuff it's like i can't blame you for something your grandfather did you know yeah yeah and this is the way i look at it the all levels of government that have any piece of this i feel bad for them having to answer this having to look into this possibly having to look to see if there's more bodies on the other 200 plus sites yeah I mean, this is a no-win situation for everyone. This is going to suck, and it's going to suck for a while. And I and I and I feel for the natives too, who would like answers and maybe know more about who's there. But trust me, documentation for natives in any of these were flimsy to begin with. Yeah. Much less trying to document, figure them out afterwards. It's it's not like you and me going in, in with our dental records and figure out what's happening. Yeah. Well, you know? no, that's just Dan. It's not like I highly doubt that you're going to. Uh... Yeah, that anything's really going to come out other than that it's sad. Like, it's totally sad. Yeah. But it, you're not, there's not really going to be any closure. Like, it's not like they're going to be able to identify. Nothing's going to be good enough. And I don't agree no. with, I don't want to see anyone getting huge payouts for this because no no one today had anything to do with any of this stuff. Yeah. So it's, so it's just going to suck and continue to suck. Well, yeah, it kind of burns me every time that, Every time something like that, you talk about payouts, it just means that my our children are going to be paying for something that somebody did, yeah, two generate three generations ago. Like, yeah, like they they didn't do anything wrong. So that's that's the only thing I have against it. Is, you know, I'm not yeah. saying let's let's shut up or let's tell people to shut, no. up, shut up. Definitely By all not. means, let's investigate. Let's see. <laughs> I hate the term, but let's see what skeletons are in the closet. Yeah. And, um, and then, you know, if we can maybe make some memorials or I don't like the idea of transplants, but some people do. I mean, we could do something. Things. So many of these schools have already been closed, property reallocated. Can you imagine if some of these properties are now hotels or other businesses? Yeah. This is what's going to come out. Because so many of these schools have been closed. 
and the properties have moved on and it's like oh boy um <laughs> it's gonna get worse before it gets better yeah I'm looking for a crank piece. Uh, now, if only someone would have told me to pre sort. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I agree with Ken. I, I don't think there's going to be a resolution that's going to make everyone happy. Not at all. And that's the unfortunate part. That's, yeah, that's, that's impossible. You're never going to make everyone happy, period. And I'm listening to some of the politicians now, like, oh, you know, we need to have an independent indigenous um, investigator. And they, sure, okay. I don't know if I want to necessarily put them in charge of $27 million. <laughs> to yeah. investigate this because that's what's being thrown around it's like ooh, you know it, well then are we good is it going to be uh kind of watched over with the fine tooth comb then if you're going to dish out that much money and make sure it's getting used for what it's well, supposed to be well, 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 see that's my that's my problem because see, I just spoke the check and like here you go <laughs> yeah well here's the thing so in, in ontario and in quebec um we have given certain tribes the autonomy, the authority, and the finances for self-governing and dealing with some of their own issues. <clears throat> and what happened with some of that? Like anyone else, they burned the money, they drank it, smoked it, did whatever they did. <laughs> the money disappeared. Yeah. Because because corruption is everywhere, right? You come crying down. And, and the indigenous are, are no... Uh, no purer than anyone else when it comes to what do you do when you got a lot of money and no one's looking carefully? Yeah. And we've seen that in some areas where water is bad and stuff and the government's taking the heat for some of that as they should. But you know, in some of those areas, they were self-governing and they had the money and the authority and they didn't. So yeah, I'm always worried when we're going to take a very small group of people, we're going to give them a lot of money and a lot of authority to do their own thing um, because we feel bad. And this is what it comes down to. We feel bad now for what someone did in the past, so we're going to throw a lot of money at a problem, give a small group of people the money and the authority to do something, and hopefully they do good with it. But it's like, and if we say anything about it, then, well, then people are going to squawk at us again. Yeah. So it just sucks because there's no good answer. Someone smarter than me is going to have to figure all this out. <laughs> like being a politician, hey, man, it's a great financial thing, you know, and the connections you make will help you in business and everything else you want to do. You know, the politicians before COVID, no one was thinking about COVID, right? It's like, oh, this yeah. is going to be easy two or four year gig. And then boom, this happens. And then you got to deal with COVID. And now you got, boom, the Indian situation. And now you got to deal with this. It's like, you can't see the future sometimes. And it's like, don't tell me any of these politicians are glad they're still in office right now. None of them want to be in office. These are not fun times. I said that our kids and grandkids will be paying for it. It's going to be happening. Yeah. All the deficits that we are racking up. Cha-ching, yeah. cha-ching. And well, everyone... It's the same cycle we've always been in. It's, yeah. It'll be liberal, the well, sorry to say, liberal government puts us into a deep deficit. Then we go back to PC and we start digging ourselves back out. People complain because taxes go up and this and that. Uh, we start actually getting to the point where we start maybe making money, and then what happens? <laughs> yeah, no, it's just it, a cycle. It, it, <laughs> I've seen it in my lifetime. Tax and times. spend. Tax and spend. Yeah. <clears throat> so. 
I was young, but I was I can remember them. I can remember Mulroney government, and then I, we being we're in the West. It was definitely interesting to have to deal with uh, Mr. John Cook. Eh? Yeah. yeah, it wasn't very good being uh, living in the West with, uh, with them running the government. See, I I'm a PC guy, so Mulroney was like, "Ooh, God, right." Free yeah. trade, awesome business, yeah. you know. And I know how that stung agriculture. I know how that how that stung forestry. I know how that stung water, electricity. You know, it hurt in many ways, but there was some growth in you know, in other ways that helped. So it's like, yeah, you know, good and bad. But it's like, yeah. And then Kretchen was like, oh, this is being smacked the other way. <laughs> yeah. Like, and while I wasn't necessarily thrilled with Kretchen, like I respected some of some of the things he did for sure. I mean, that's why I can't walk this hard blue line, even though I'm a PC guy. It's like you're back, Mama. Mama. Ah, Mama's back. Mama's back. Mama's back. Back again. <laughs> I need another piece. There we go. Gave the kids a little shot of whiskey and they were right to sleep, did they? Yeah. <laughs> Funny how it works. <laughs> yep. Oh, I tell you, there was one Christmas, you know, where my dad had me so plastered for whoosh, three, four days straight. Well, I had the worst... Um, throat infection slash i don't know what the hell it was i mean i thought i was dying everything was swollen and of course no one wants to go to the hospital at christmas yeah so my dad's given me it was either canadian club or whiskey whatever he had handy yeah and i'm taking <laughs> no seriously i'm gargling with it and i'm yeah. swigging it every once in a while because he goes oh yeah and you can swallow it <laughs> and it's like <laughs> <laughs> Three, four times a day. And every time I would say, I'm sore, Daddy. <laughs> Give yeah. me another shot. <laughs> I was liquored up that whole Christmas. and uh, Best Christmas ever. <laughs> best Christmas ever. <laughs> but you know, it's like, got through it. Didn't go to hospital. So Funny, that's one Christmas. I don't remember any of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, a well, blur. <clears throat> What do you do for Christmas? I don't remember. <laughs> Go back to school. <clears throat> oh my God, the hunger strike, Ken. I almost forgot about that. And she, yeah, and she embezzled the money, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, there was another thing of embezzlement that came up recently in the news, and I can't remember why it was so interesting too the other day. People with authority will screw you every time. <laughs> That's what I've learned. Well, you flaunt enough money in front of their face and eventually they cave. Eh? Yeah. yeah. As soon as they figure out they can get away with it. Yeah. That's one way to test your morals, eh? Yep. I'm going to start adding zeros to this check and you tell me when to stop. <laughs> yep. Keep going. Cool. Well, okay, see, you're not too familiar with our premier Ford out here. But his name is both awesome and dirty. <laughs> well, yeah. His, his, his family his name is, yeah, his brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, we loved him. But because his family was so good to people, especially to the poor, especially to... Um, you name it, um, underprivileged, um, whites, non-whites, everybody, right? Yeah. Good for everybody. Uh, family business was a printing business amongst other things. So lots of money in the family. So they could afford <laughs> to be nice to everyone. But they did all these great things, you know. But, you know, when when uh, Ford got, when, when he became counselor and then later mayor, you know, he did a lot of stupid stuff. Plus, he was always smoking crack and other things, right? Say, like he really, he really got in with the poor people. He really, got, yeah, he really got in with the poor. 
he did. Yeah. Um, and the he video come out with him hanging that. with the poor doing their thing. And it's like, <laughs> I shouldn't say the poor because anyone can do drugs, but this was the image being portrayed. Anyway, yeah. um, so it got to a point where we were taking power away from the mayor. City council was basically making the mayor a joke. Um, it was it was something. It was just crazy. But, um, you know, and everything happened. And then, of course, you know, Mayor Ford died. Um, and then his brother comes back from the States, you know, gets involved in politics up here again. And then, you know, six months later, whatever it is. I mean, the guy's premier. He went from nothing to somebody so fast. Yeah. And then what did he do? The very first thing that Ford did, you know, Ford number two. He started messing with the city of Toronto and the city council that screwed with his brother. <laughs> oh, it was, the, it, you know what he did? He slashed the council in half, eh? From 47 members to like 27, something like that. <laughs> he got rid of them. And you know what he did? It He did it during their election. They'd already started the election process. He goes, eh, hey, we're going to cut the city council in half. Big balls. Didn't care if he was breaking the law. Um, so no matter what you thought about politics, like it was exciting and interesting. The Fords have never been boring, never been boring. Well, when uh, his brother kind of came into politics, like I was like, I thought he, and then totally, I was like, I thought he was dead. And like, oh, he had a brother. There's a different, oh, dude, 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 there's another one. Um, yeah. <laughs> there's a cousin, there's like a, uh, so the premier is, I think his son is on city council or was. So, I mean, this is a big family thing. Everyone's a politician. Huh. Yeah, I, I totally didn't know. I was, I was, seriously, I was oh, like. No one remembers the way he can. And, and those who do try and forget. <laughs> he remembers. <laughs> oh, my God. Honestly, people are uh, people have forgotten about when. Except those who are going to pay the bills for every check she wrote and the dirty politics. Yeah, Wynn, McGinty, all oh, a lot of dirty, dirty politics. But I'm not going to smack them around for being liberals because, you know, for every stunt they did, you know, PCs pull their own. So, hey, Bricks Toys, Jazz is in the house. Hey, Jazz. Jazz. I didn't know you were streaming earlier, Jazz. I got zero notification. You need to come up with a mailing list so that you can go click yeah. and then we get no seriously if i was bigger if i had a thousand i'll do it i'll set up a mailing list just so i can go click and email everyone who subscribes to the uh email list because it's the youtube notes are a joke well that's when i was standing outside the deck watching the kid or watching Ellen run through the sprinkler and i just have to look that's I popped on. I was standing on the deck outside. <clears throat> I think I only gave 45 minutes notice for my stream. So it's not like there was a lot of lead time for anybody. It was enough time for me to spam a link to like the dozen groups I wanted it in. Yeah. But that was about it. First thing I did was make my overlay. So second thing I did was spam the link. Were you on earlier today, Chantel? See, I didn't get that. Yeah, I didn't get that one either. I got her last one. I didn't get I this one. Into, they were doing trivia. Oh, oh. You know what? To be fair, though, I do remember, but only because she posted it to our Facebook group. That's the only reason I knew. But see, I mean, that's a good thing. So I did have it in my head, but yeah, I forgot about Saturday or Friday. Sorry, Friday. Oh. Um you watch uh, I forget what City. Is. Um, I did. Yeah, the yeah. Video. Well, I, not only did I watch today's video, but I shared it all over the place because, um, you know, I've been I've been a victim of some of that myself. So it's like, yeah, yeah, I'm with you, brother. And um, you know what? There's some really, really toxic crap out there. And 
either jealous people or whiny, I don't want to use the B word, but really whiny bees out there because yeah. they can't get something or whatever. It's like, you know what? It's actually a very level playing field. You just got to decide if you're going to play that game. Yeah. Are you going to be the guy with the credit card? Are you going to be the guy willing to get in the car and hustle and move? Are you going to be the guy who's going to hit multiple locations if you want to be that guy who clears shells? It's a very level playing field that anyone can play. Well, that's just it. And I'm far from, like, it's not like I'm big on social media and stuff like that. And, like, I stumbled across that stuff two years ago. And I was like, uh, yeah, for $5 a set for, like, well, how big was that set? Like, it was, like, 500-some pieces for 5 bucks. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm going to, yeah. So I went and got a cart, and I dumped them all in the cart. I'm yep. sorry. And you know what? I flipped three quarters of them within three months. I sold them all for under retail. I made a profit and was able to use it to buy sets that I really wanted. And the people that bought them got them for, well, I think I sold them for 35 to $40 a set. And I think it retailed for 60 So, like, Am I doing something really wrong? Like, I I just every time I see someone cry about someone who bought a lot of sets, he says, "Oh, you couldn't leave any out." It's like, hey, yeah, no. <laughs> you know, if I go to this, hey, you know, I just put up a notice today. I finally got the notice from Lego saying something I ordered is shipping that I ordered what two months ago or whatever. I'm not crying. I'm happy it's coming, but I'm not crying. I didn't get it on that first day. I'm happy that I'm getting it at all and that it's going to be secure and it's going to arrive. I didn't need it first day. And I know a lot of people beat me out, even though I was in there in first two minutes or whatever. Somehow I still got beat out right away, but it isn't that big a deal. And people are crying about a stupid toy. And the worst ones are the ones who are trying to make the story. Oh, but it's for my kid and this and that. Like, Come on. If your kids are crying that much and you're flipping out this much over it, you better talk to your kids. Maybe change their moral barometer and their expectation levels and stuff. Because these, I don't like to use the word Karen, but guess what? These Karens are going to have huge problems later in life about, oh my God, I did my, you know, this and this is not perfect and this and this is not perfect. Like, yeah. they're going to have a hard time in life. They really are. Well, it he was like, it's been on the shelf. These things have been on the shelf for two years. Like well, that was, was the best part. Of what he, was, he went over and those details. Like, so like, by then, you've had multiple times that they came on sale that you could have bought them for. Like, yep. you were if you're waiting for them to go seventy percent off, like the odds of you actually getting that deal were next to probably a quarter of a percent. So it was just luck of a draw. Yeah, it's tough. It really is tough. Suck it up. Like, I, and it's it, great when you stumble time. across that stuff, but don't count on it. I no longer have the same expectations for deals as I used to. And if I see them, great. Where do you guys go for clearance? Walmart. Uh, but then, you know, I'm in, so I'm in Walmart. Toronto. So it's like I got 15 of them or whatever within 10 minutes drive. So. It's not for me. It's not hard. It doesn't mean I don't get beat out. I get beat out all the time. I don't publicize the scores as much as I used to because there's no benefit. I get spanked a lot online for it, so it's like, nah, it's okay. No one really wants to see me get ten of a set, or fifteen of a set, or five of a set, cheap, cheap, when they couldn't get one. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, okay. I don't need to publicize it and they don't need to see it. Yeah. And then if I want to move it, I can move it without going public too. Cause I can just talk to a few people and trust me, they'll take that clearance item for still a lot less than what the retail would have been. They'll smile. I'll smile. Everyone wins. Yep. Right here. <laughs> yep. I mean, I'm in all the big legal groups and you don't see me posting this for sale. I don't. I don't do it that way because once yeah. you make the connections, you don't have to be public anymore with stuff. The best stuff for sale is no longer posted publicly anyway. Once the connections are made, you go back to the guys or they come to you. Hey, do you want to buy this, Rick? Sure. 
That's funny. That's exactly the last time I uh, I sold a few sets. There was a guy I had kind of made a contact through, and I'd sold him stuff once before. He was from Winnipeg, and uh, so we kind of just kept up on Facebook Messenger, and I decided I wanted to sell a couple things. I was like, "Hey, do you want to? Are you interested?" And he's like, mm, "No, not really." But you know what? I said, "I've I've got a few buddies that so let me check," and he like he more or less just lined it all up for me yeah the guy turned okay. around and he's actually coming through town so it worked out perfect <laughs> ken's in a dead zone he, he can't find deals out there but you know what ken i know there's a lot of guys around you who are they're they're beating you to it it's not that there isn't but um you only got the one or two locations too i think close to you uh winnipeg is not that bad carter i i'm if I go go to town, I have found some pretty wicked deals in Winnipeg too. Just sucks I have to drive two hours to uh, get there. But it is what it is. Yeah, I got them at first day scalpers. But you see, my 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 thing and that changed a lot too over the years because I went from being that guy who only <laughs> bought the stores to being that guy who probably ninety percent only buys online now. So if I want, if it's a diehard set, I really got to have first day, then of course, lego.com. And usually I'm chasing something because of it. And then I know me and Ryan were talking earlier, like, oh, these Star Wars sets, this is going to be day one. This isn't going to be day one. I'll wait for a deal. He's got the same views as me, maybe on different sets, but same yeah. game plan. And it's like, I'm not going to the store. I'm not looking on the shelf. <laughs> it just... I'm really not. Now, if I'm in Walmart, sure, I'll head to the Lego section while my wife goes somewhere else. But during lockdown, we haven't had any of that fun anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I can't wait till that comes back. But, you know, I know there's people who are going to beat me to it. I'm not going to worry about it. And I'm not going to cry about it. But I do feel well, bad for those who maybe online's not an option, maybe because they can't get delivery or don't trust delivery. Like for me, Canada Post is not bad. FedEx is not horrible because i know it's going to be secure at their depots i don't trust it coming yeah. to my door though not at all um that's that's not happening my uh my canada post driver he actually is uh, married to a girl from my hometown so that's kind of I, I know him so he's really oh good. wow you got that kind of connection yeah we uh i ordered well when i got my uh, my bluetooth speaker for my tv last christmas <clears throat> it got delivered <clears throat> and uh he actually hid it in our bushes kind of thing <laughs> so it was not it was, a, it, was a huge, it was a huge box yeah wow i come home and it, it was i didn't see it and i was like oh no i pulled in my driveway and i've got these two cedar bushes that unless you come in the driveway you can't see around them and you can't see it for anything from the road and he had just tucked it in there <laughs> that's awesome are the Winnipeg are the uh, the Jets still in the hockey I mean yeah, yeah. I'm not following uh, now because you know the Leafs it's, choked <laughs> yeah it's yeah, yeah, fabs right now oh yeah okay yeah you know it's just another year to be disappointed with the Toronto Leafs and it's like I wasn't a big fan going in because they've always disappointed me. And it's like, <laughs> you got used to it. You know, we're, we're up 3 1. It's like, okay. <laughs> and this You're is where it's going to start falling apart. Hockey. And everyone I know on Facebook who is a hockey fan, they all turn so quick before that next game where they have smacked us. And it's like, <clears> oh my God. And And most of them called it. And it's like, yeah, we're out of it. It's like, what do you mean we're out of it? Then we lost another game. It's like, oh, now we're in a game seven. <clears throat> it's just horrible. Horrible. Yeah, Carter. In Winnipeg, just, just the Walmarts for the most part. Um, oh, Ken, Ken's Morris. saying number one Jets player suspended for a dirty, dirty hit. Uh, that wasn't dirty. I wouldn't call that dirty. Or that's me personally. I don't know. I I could be wrong. I'm not a big hockey guy either, but I watched it. And 
It's not like well, I, grew, have, I grew up in the years of, of dirty sure. hockey where dirty hockey was half the reason to watch. So the idea of hands off hockey is still something that's kind of foreign to me. I know we're not there yet. Um, I don't know if we're ever going to be there. Truly hands off hockey. I don't want to see it guys getting hurt. I don't want to see career ending injuries. Yeah. I do believe he players has, need to be tough. He had his head down. <laughs> he should have had his head up. Simple Ooh. as that, though. Didn't see it coming or? Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Those are the worst kinds of injuries when you don't see something coming, even like car accidents or whatever. Um, your body doesn't prepare at all. So it's like, <laughs> it's. Yeah. Ugly things happen, but no, I don't yeah, want to see anyone uh, getting hurt. But props to the the Jets player that Ehlers, he because uh, what happens second there's a hit. What do all the players in the opposing team do? They all just they rush in and scrum. So it was one of the Winnipeg oh. players, arms up, and he was he was holding everyone back because they would have just trampled him. Like it's your own damn oh. player, he's he's out cold in the ice. Wow. I mean, see, I remember all the years watching games either in person or on TV, you know, and even Don Cherry listening to him because he was a big cheerleader for, but of course you're not hearing him, right? Yeah. But, um, but he he would love to talk about the fights afterwards. I miss Don. Oh. I miss Don. I grew I up could forgive, Don. I, love I can forgive. Well, you, does he still have the Spotify radio show? Oh, good question. I because I, I was subscribed to him because I did want to listen to him no matter what. Because I figure, hey, I would listen to him during a game. You know, why not? But admittedly, I didn't keep up with it. Because then I kind of realized once he's away from the screen, that's half the appeal of him. The colorful yeah. jackets and, and his, the, the his whole gimmick. The ties. Oh, my God, the ties. Yeah. You know, and of course, we used to. I don't know if he still has the bar here, you know, in Mississauga grapes, but um, grapevine grapes. Shame oh, on Ron Spade to turn his back on him. Jake Evans stretchered off ice after a huge hit from Mark. Oh, jeez. I don't want to read that again. <laughs> that makes me feel bad. I don't want to see anyone leave the ice on a stretcher. Now, if it's pro wrestling, I want to see every guy leave. On a stretcher, and I know it's not real usually. And even pro wrestling, you know, there was a time when if you saw a referee or someone else who was staff put up their arms in an X, it it originally meant someone was actually really hurt, send out the paramedics for real, send out the real stretcher, you know? Yeah. And then that became a gimmick. So now you see it all the time in wrestling. They'll go cross with their arms. So yeah. Even the real stuff's been faked, and you don't know what's real anymore. Well, I mean, you, you can make your own judgments what's real with that shit. But uh, I was watching AEW. First time in forever, they got live audience, right? It's so oh, yeah. weird to see wrestling fans watching wrestling again. And what a difference it makes to the product. Even if the product is lousy, and the match is lousy, and the presentation is lousy, when you see the fans cheering and booing, each move, it's like, ooh, ah, boo, whatever. <laughs> That's the way wrestling is supposed to be. Not what I've yeah. watched on and off in bits and pieces for a year and a half with no audience. Because that's been garbage. Yeah, it's not the same. Eh? Horrible. So I'm glad these guys can at least do their profession in front of the <laughs> fans again. I just wish it was good enough for me to bother, you know, to watch and care. Because I don't. I watch, I, I watch Wrestle Talk and one or two other. Actually, it's just Wrestle Talk if I watch at all. You know, channels about the pro wrestling matches. Yeah. More in a week, and they're only about four minutes long per day. Than I watch pro wrestling anymore. You know, the one that I actually really want to actually, well, I need to figure out how I can watch it. Is uh, that Steve Austin? What is it called? It calls it. Oh, uh, oh the Broken, Broken Skull, Skull Session. session? That yeah, was, so yeah, I think that'd be really good. Okay, so he's got both his regular podcasts that you can listen to, and you can use any podcast downloader. Search for Steve Austin, Stone Cold Steve Austin. You'll find that. 
Yeah. So you get his audio only stuff, which I've listened to that stuff for years on the road when I'm going to work. Um, then I listen to Eric Bischoff do his, and I listen to Bruce Pritchard, Jim Ross. There's a bunch of these guys. I listen to all those stuff. Um, but that one you're talking about, the actual WWE one where he's face to face with guys like a couple weeks ago, yeah, he, had Jer yeah. he had Jericho, which was great because Jericho's working for the other company. It's like, that was sweet, which I still want to see, by the way. Um, you know, when he interviews, that's, I've seen bits and pieces on like the, the Facebook videos that you see. The yeah. Of it, and then and it's like, it was great that he had to see like five or two, three, five minutes of it. And it's yeah. just, it's enjoyable. No, I want to, <laughs> I want to sit down and I, I'm glad Austin can still make a little money doing something like that because we're never going to see him wrestle again. Yeah. It's not like Cena or The Rock who will get in there for another payday. Austin doesn't want to <laughs> risk his neck. Borderline paralysis uh, once or twice is enough. <laughs> Ooh, I got a piece here. There's on the very on the side of it. There's a it's all yellowed. That's the first one I've seen. Hang on here. I want to see what Carter is saying. Am I the only one who thinks the duel on Mandalore is a tad overpriced, although it's only 25 bucks? If it's 25 bucks Canadian and you get those two figures, um, I try to remember now. Um, Ahsoka and Darth Maul. The Ahsoka is the same figure. As the if you didn't, yeah. yeah. So if you didn't get it before, this is a great way to get that figure. Yeah. Now, uh, Darth Maul, that's a new figure. That's, and it's a great looking figure. 25 bucks, yeah. I mean, you can say that about a lot of Lego, though. I'm not yeah, a play I mean, set guy, but that's a, that's a kind of set that I'll probably still want to get anyway. See, and I, I wanted the MTT. So if I, had, if I hadn't got the MTT, I'd definitely get that. Yeah. I, I think I still probably will. I've got some of the other little play sets and. I yeah. bet you I will, but it's not like I'm going to be racing for it. Yeah, it'll be in. A, it'll be another one of those add-on ones we talk about. Yeah, we'll tack it on. See, for me, Slave One, because it was revealed that it's a Mandalorian-based one with the figure with the Boba Fett figure being yeah. from the yeah. Ma Mandalorian series. Like, all right, now you sold me. It's probably going to be a day one set. I won't wait for clearance. I won't wait for a deal. I'll probably grab it no matter what. Yeah, the you know, Mandalorian uh, fighter looks great. Looks like it's a slight improvement over the pre pre Vizsla's fighter. It's got three awesome figures, all new. That's going to be great for the figure guys. Um, me, not day one. I'll wait, but I'll get it for sure because I want it. I know I want it. I just wish they would have made it studless or done something about that design because, of course, studs on one side, not on the other. It's like, oh, you guys. If you're going to make a fighter that does that, you should make it better. Make it look good from both sides. Yeah. You're all excited for, for fat Boba Fett. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I hate when people say that, but it, uh, he does. And and, and I've, I've been, I watched the um, on Disney Plus. I watched the making of, so of the season two stuff, and we saw you know the actor, and you know, hey, we all get older, <laughs> whatever. <clears throat> But he does look so heavy. <laughs> yeah. And they couldn't have done, I don't mean like visual effects, but they could have made him look slimmer. They absolutely <laughs> could have. Lighten the armor, less layers, whatever. Yeah. Um, whatever. I mean, we're all getting older. <laughs> I'm not going to shame the guy. I mean, because he, hey, the guy's got to be in Star Wars a few times, right? Django Fett. Now he's Boba Fett. He was also in um, the Matrix, the Matrix, Matrix movies. You know, he was, was in. Um, oh yeah, he was. Yeah, I forgot yeah. about that. Oh yeah, and, and he did the Matrix movies like in the same time period as he was doing the original Star Wars appearance. So it's like wicked. Yeah. Talk about having a good career at that point in his life, like to get those kinds of gigs back to back. Like he was you, uh, the dad in. Um, the Aquaman movie too. Really? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm never going to say he's a great actor, eh, but I I could appreciate anyone who's putting in time and he's getting good gigs. Take it easy, Mama. Shields, third season. Oh, oh man. 
I don't want to. I'm not going to say anything good or bad about it because I don't want to ruin your experience. I am going to pick it up again and watch Beyond season three because I gave up on it. But um, yeah, I'm not going to crap on it for you. Hey, sadness. Uh, Canadian prices are still a lot higher than many other prices. Yeah, and that's just Lego. Lost stuff. It's not unique to Lego. Well, a lot of those prices, they don't line up with like the, doesn't line up with the exchange. And we're getting, we're going to get screwed with all the, the duties and the freight costs and stuff. And they're passing it on to consumer. Yep. Yeah. Which yeah. is, it, it is what it is. Like, I understand that. Well, that's basic business stuff, but it sucks being the consumer. You know, they eat it, and those costs are going to get absorbed in, and you know they got to cover those costs, and yeah. that's where we come in. Yeah. So, I mean, business one hundred and one. But yeah, I, I it it's not even a fight I give a crap about anymore. Well, it's one of those things. It doesn't matter how big of, of a company you are. Like, there's that's a there's a lot of costs involved with all that, and yeah, you can't necessarily afford to absorb it all. You, you know what? The consumer ends up having to pay for some of it because yeah, it really cuts yeah. into your bottom line. It, it it does. I know. All anyone has to do if they want to see what the real cost of some of this Lego stuff. Yeah, this is cheap plastic ABS. Even in, in sh surely in the volumes that Lego gets the beads, you know, that they process down and extrude out into these pieces. <laughs> Even in the volumes they get it, there's a still a cost to the material. But more yeah. importantly, there's a cost to the machines and maintaining those molds and s cycling them in and out and putting new ones in. And yeah. unlike a lot of the, especially the older Chinese companies who never cycled stuff. Old mega blocks never cycled their molds. So when they ran off the, the pieces for sets and you had a lot of inconsistencies, they never retooled a lot of the lines. They pump out their stuff until it was dead. So we'd end up with pieces that were garbage. Lego does a much better job. They got definite timelines for how long. A mold can be used before it's got to get moved on, retooled, brought back in. And um, there's yeah, a cost things, to all this. Things get out of spec, and then it's when, yeah, parts don't fit. You know, when I had Slubin, Sluban, sorry, working with me, and um, I was going to be doing a lot more sets with them. No one was too thrilled about some of my comments on some of the parts. It's like, guys, like, this is good, this is good, this is good. But this quality control is not good. And no matter what you may want to think, you're still being compared to Lego. If Lego is the de facto standard, then you're going to be compared to that, whether you like it or not. Yeah. Not that Lego's perfect, but if they're the standard, you've got to live up to that standard. So, yeah, it... it it definitely sucks for some companies, but it's like, no, this is, there's a cost of doing this business. And there's going to be people accepting, like I accepted a lot of flaws from some of the cheaper Chinese stuff, knowing I couldn't get this any other way. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes it still doesn't hold up. And it's like, if it's just that bad, it doesn't matter if it was the only way, it's just not worth it. We want a certain level of quality. We've become accustomed to it. And there's a cost. Where's the other part here? There we go. Well, I'm glad about one thing. This is not another giant ship because what you guys, I don't know if any of my camera views are showing this. Oh, yeah, I guess one of them is. Like, I still have this guy on the desk, right? Because <laughs> um, I haven't put it into the cabinet. Because guess what? No room in the cabinet. I still got the turbo tank to my left. Haven't put it in the cabinet. There's no room in the cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So after tomorrow's bike ride, I'm going to have to find some time. Are you keeping to... the Godzilla the cat out of it? You know what's funny? The cat rarely comes on this desk, and I'm not sure if it's just because he can, you know, if, if I'm in the living room and I'm looking towards the desk, you know, I give him the evil eye and he knows to get down. Yeah. But, um, yeah, he hasn't really messed with much of the Lego on the desk. <laughs> uh, he's you know, he, you he's, getting older, he's getting older, he's getting heavier, he's not climbing as much. Yeah. So there's a lot of that. He's giving the look and like, you, do you want to die? <laughs> and he jumps yeah. <laughs> is, this, is this the day it's going to happen? <laughs> okay, so this is where I'm going to take two pieces off. Now I'm doing some stickering with that piss poor sticker sheet. So, okay, so let's do this. This is gonna be bad. There's just no way it can be good. The stickers, I mean, look at this, it was so rolled. One of them was half off the sheet and I recovered it before it stuck to anything. You know what? I really wish that Lego would give us extra stickers. You know, either a whole extra sheet or, you know, print them on the same sheet, whatever. Would it really kill them? Would it really hurt their bottom dollar, you know, their bottom line so much? Would it be so hard to put a chunk of cardboard in with, with oh. the instructions and put the sticker sheet in there? Yeah. And everything would be flat. Because <laughs> they do it in some set, like some of the bigger sets. Yeah. Because that chunk of cardboard would cost so much. And that, and that extra little baggie that they'd have to vacuum seal. Oh boy, this sticker is so rolled already. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, maybe I could make this the first set I don't put stickers on. <clears throat> I've actually already talked to a guy at work. We've been he's he's bought some new sets, this and that, that they're him and his wife have been working on them. I had said that I have got to buy a couple of uh, sticker sheets from that guy off eBay again. He's like, oh, he says, maybe I'll just pay you and you can wear them all together. I said, yeah, might as well. Nice. So I'll be putting, putting in a big order, I guess. Oh, this is so bad. I've already had to lift the sticker off once. And now twice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't even get far on that. Well, it's long, it's triangular, it's going on a curve. I mean, there's so much wrong with this. I was trying to align it with the outer edge. Maybe I'll try and align it with the inner edge. Well, that went a little better. <clears throat> inner, inner edge was definitely better. Problem is, is that these stickers had rolled off the sheet somewhat. So it's like, how well are they going to stick? I mean, that's got to be one of the worst experiences to put a sticker on a curved edge. Bad enough to put them on the flat pieces on the tiles or flat glass that's a bad one putting clear decal on window pieces those are horrible i've done that on a few sets and it's like yeah. no that's just really that hard. uh oh the uh, ucs uh x-wing i've heard that one yeah oh see that and one i, I got you red, the, uh... red five i got used from ian hayden All right, right. And it was a really good build. And you know what? Um, I assume he was the one who built it because that was his personal collection. Because yeah. he actually tried to buy that back from me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he was selling a lot of Lego. I don't know why. And he's he is one of the better guys to buy from. But it's like he really regretted it and wanted to buy it back. It's like, no, buddy, man. I know, A, it was a good <laughs> deal. And B, it's a great set. 
Yeah. No way. Yes. That is a permanent part of my collection. And yeah. whoever did that windscreen did a good job. Yeah. Because honestly, <laughs> if I had to, I don't think I could have done as good. At least not Maybe that buy a second, a second a spare. <laughs> yeah. Well, I remember watching uh, what was M and R when he got his, and he uh, it turned out when he opened the box, he had two sets of decals. Oh, and, then, and I remember him on a live stream when he he buggered up the canopy, and so he took it off, and then he's like pissed on, and he never did put the the he didn't he's like, really there, but he was scared to screw up the second one that he didn't have any. So you know what's funny about that piece, um. If I had to do it, I might have thought twice about stickering it. And if I messed it up, do you know what I probably would have done? Because I am half decent with paint and masking. I would probably mask it and, you know, get some gray paint or whatever yeah. and try and do a decent job like back in the modeling days. Um, could I have one on pretty good? I hope they don't roll up. This is That's the problem. I've done this before, and I've watched stickers roll up a day or two later. It's like, no. <laughs> yeah. Once it, once the sticker leaves the sheet, you're kind of screwed. It's in that glue ages, and Lego's glue is not the best by any means. So I'm going to rebuild what I took apart. There we go. I mean, it looks those look good, but those weren't the real troublemakers. I got worse ones yet. Well, I bet Lego makes their glue that way for a reason too, because it's a little more. It's supposed to be forgiving. If you have yeah. Uh, you know what? I got to admit, over the years, labels have not been too bad for me. Um, trying to remember, someone did me a favor once. Um, maybe it was the Lego truck, you know, the big yellow tractor trailer. Stickers were bad. Whoever I bought that from, they showed me the photos, and it's like, oh man, it's rough. And you know what? They did such a good job of lifting those stickers and reapplying. It looked awesome when I got it. Oh, yeah. There's definitely some techniques that even I haven't figured out yet. That uh, I would like to see how they did it. Okay, that looks like it's probably going to be a black piece. Oh, I didn't put these on. Mm hmm yes <laughs> this is such a typical star wars set grays blues and blacks <laughs> it's like <laughs> yep this is why lego loves star wars only a handful of color schemes yeah that's actually yeah, that's made the downside of star wars too is you don't uh It'd be interesting to actually build like a big Ninjago set or something. So many different colors. It actually might be kind of refreshing. Oh, no. There's definitely an appeal to the Ninjago stuff. Just beautiful. The color schemes. Maybe not something I'd want to part out just because like you get a million different colors in very small quantities. But yeah, yeah beautiful builds. I can't get into the lore on that stuff, though. I'm never going to learn about it. I'm, never, I'm probably never going to watch the TV series. Honestly, I the one thing, though, I wish I had... Uh, I wish I had gotten that Destiny bounty ship, the one from the movie. Oh, yeah? Was, uh, Is that the first one or the second one? Um, they had two. The, well, the, one, uh, one from the movie, the and then there was the another movie, one. The, the Ninjago movie one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's a nice build. And they're both, you know, they're both nice. It's not either of them are bad. Well, like as far as like it was a, it was a, actually a fairly sizable build, and like price per piece when you go that way, it was really good too. Yeah. Okay. I could have picked it up. It could, one of my Canadian Tire things. I could have got it really well for a reasonable price there. Oh yeah, my god! All you communists in your Canadian Tire. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've got two. One, well, what, the one that's really close to me is only two kilometers away, so it's not far. 
but even that one, I don't, even before COVID, I don't go in there much. And it's not a bad store. It's a pain in the ass. It's a pain in the ass because it's two floors. I don't like going into a two floor store. I don't know why. They got escalators. It's not, not like I'm doing stairs. A couple of years ago, they had, they had, like, I couldn't get over the amount of Lego they had. Like, I'd never seen it like that in a Canadian car. And like expensive, like they had the uh, Bugatti and stuff like that there. Okay. So it's like wow, like this. You're not supposed to be able to find this stuff at a Canadian Tire. Like it doesn't make sense. They had the the great big uh, that Lieber excavator wheel excavator. Right. It was there. Or not the Lieber. Well, yeah, the the wheel excavator, whatever that was called. Yeah, I know the big one you're talking about. Yeah, yeah they had that. They had, I just couldn't get over it. So that's when I decided, oh, well, I'm going to start saving my Canadian Tire money, and that's what I'm going <laughs> to every year in October. Guess what I'm going to spend it on? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> See, in the Toronto area, it's not that they don't have Lego and Canadian Tires. They do at some and not at others, but it's much more of a seasonal item. Yeah. Like Christmas, yeah. of course, plenty. But at other times of year, some of the locations it can be very bare. Oh yeah, there's the some of the smaller ones that just there, there'll be nothing. They'll all be gone. Because Toronto, Toronto, Toronto area, area Canadian right? tires have to compete with Walmart, so that's a weird thing. But Canadian tires that are farther away, where they don't have so much competition, those ones will stock all the Lego you could ever want. That that's my experience anyway, at least out here in Ontario. Yeah. The uh, yeah, ours they'll have some stuff year round, but the the bigger and the new sets and stuff, like the summer sets, they'll have them out like end of September, beginning of October. That's why usually you start scouting them in September and they'll actually they'll move their toy stuff and start getting ready for Christmas. I've and never done this. Uh, Look what I just them. did. I pulled a page right out of the book. The center page, it's like, I've never done that. Is this something I'm going to be able to fix? Nah. Well, no. Nope. Nope. Rip through. Yeah. I mean, it's not nasty or anything, but yeah. All right. That sucks. Hmm. I've never done it. Not as an adult, anyway. Maybe I did as a kid, but yeah. Wow, what a crazy build this is! Banged up book, banged up stickers, bag that was torn open. Nothing loose though. Nothing in the box, anyway. Oh, really? Hopefully, oh, really? yeah. We'll see when we get to the end. Oh my God, I'm missing one critical part. <laughs> remember, uh, remember when we did the slave one builds though? Remember, you and me both had the same bag was ripped open. You remember that? so odd eh yeah makes you think that there was definitely a production issue or quality issue yeah that's such a quite random quite thing for both of us to have a problem with yeah yeah it was the same numbered bag <laughs> yeah let's see thing but yeah i was saying our our canadian tire is like they'll They'll start prepping for Christmas, usually mid-September, and they'll uh, they'll start moving their stuff around, and they'll start tagging off off the spots in the shelves, and that's usually where I'll find and I'll I'll find the new tags with their with their part number, so oh. then I'll just go on stock track, and I can keep watching and just watch for them. I'll, oh, that sets an inventory. Are there? Like I'll, I'll pick out that's the one I want to get as soon as it's on the shelf. I'm gonna go and buy it. Nice because I know I found last year, like I because I bought the ATAT and uh they had two of them. I bought the first one and the second one was gone within the same week. And I don't think they restocked it by Christmas, I don't think they oh, ever did get another one, they have them now. <laughs> Not for Christmas. You know, my buddy gets a huge discount. Clean tire, Mark's Work Warehouse, blah, blah, blah. And I don't hit him up nearly enough. 
because he get you know he gets some pretty good deals. Yeah. Mostly because of the COVID situation, we've only seen each other three times. <clears throat> but yeah, even before, I didn't take advantage of it because I feel kind of slimy doing that. It's his work discount, you know. Yeah. Ooh, what piece am I decaling now? Yuck. Okay, this one doesn't look too bad. Oh, since we did straight fingers earlier, <laughs> yeah. I figure I'm going to have to replace these stickers anyway. So it's like, yeah, we're doing it this way. Do the best we can. There we go. It's not so bad. Is that a new one? Oh, don't use the bad one. <laughs> I was using a dinged up separator. Yeah, if you're going to use a separator to push down a sticker nice and smooth, it cannot be one you've used. Is it brand new one? Brand new one with a smooth edge on the end. If there's even the slightest thing, don't do it because that will ruin your stickers. All right, so that piece looks good. Uh, there we go. Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. I like that. And now I can get off that page and not think about the missing <laughs> paper. So, like, oh, God damn. Oh, um, I was watching when I was watching Jazz stream earlier. Corey, uh, Corey was on there and he was showing he built the, uh, the UCS snow speeder. Oh, did he get around the building it? Okay. Yeah, nice. I was thinking it's not all built. Uh, it, uh, it, actually, I like, I like that set. I'm going to have to, I might have to bump that up. Well, you know. Just another so one of those that I want so, to build, but I need to well, be able to bring myself to open them. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> do you have the newest one or the original one to build? I have the new, the, the newer one. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was actually my, uh, remember when eBay used to put out 20% off coupons every now and then? Oh, you used the coupon to get that? I got it for 20% off on the Toys Toys R Us has an eBay store. And they had it on oh, there. They got it 20% nice. off. That was wicked. Yeah, I got that one sitting behind me. But yeah, that could be a good opportunity to build something. Keep me in the loop. Yeah. Like I said, I got... I got more than one UCS set that I, uh, especially when they're sealed. I just I don't know what it is. See, this is the problem. See, I don't I don't have that same problem. My problem is space. I don't have yeah. a problem with oh my god, it's sealed and it's worth so much and it's going up in value the longer I leave it. That's not yeah. my problem. That's not my headache. I got nowhere to put a lot of this stuff until yeah. I take more stuff out of the cabinets. So it's a slow process. Well, I've got Dude, this. I still have to take all my wife's sets here. These ones I'm supposed to do Mrs. Albrecht's count little videos on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I still got 20 <laughs> sets I'm looking at. <laughs> yeah, the battle is real. I should well, just I've got this here. shelf over my head that's 10 feet long and was it 16 inches deep? So I got, mind you, half it's got boxes on it now, but. I got lots of room to display for now, anyway. Yeah, It'll fill up yeah. fast once I actually get going. I know people probably wonder what's it. What are they? What are these guys looking at when they look up? <laughs> yeah, because I'm doing it too. It's like, see, if I lean all the way back and I look straight up, it's like, so the shelf that I built on top of the IKEA is, um, I don't know, five inches overlap because I use the 16-inch board, right? Yeah. By whatever it was, 
80 inches or actually they're 96 inches and I cut them down so that the square is 79 but that one is 79 and then that one is probably 50 whatever but it makes that perfect L on the top every time I come into the place I look up like that actually looks really good yeah. I didn't expect it to look that good you know yeah and when it was empty before we put the stuff on it, like I remember my wife saying, that looks really good. Like she wasn't yeah. expecting it to. Like, <laughs> oh, my God, Rick actually built something that didn't look too ghetto. Yeah. <laughs> can... Oh, I'm the king of ghetto for sure. For sure. Oh, God, is that great? Yeah. Redneck it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm rednecking it up. Okay, I can't reach it right now. But. Once upon a time, when I had the bird's eye view camera, I used the um, was a selfie stick that I had, and it was great Very for a time. So I tried to reuse that in a different way to create a three quarter angle, which right now is kind of this camera. Hey, and I wanted it to be a certain position over my shoulder. The thing is, the selfie stick was too heavy when I attached it to the armature that I had it connected to. Basically, the selfie stick broke. Well, the selfie stick was, you know, $12 of Chinese garbage, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I sat here crazy glue, glued it back together, the base of it. Great, right? So I screwed <laughs> it in. Now, the armature, the Logitech cameras, and the selfie stick all have the typical uh, screw-in mount. Same mount, camera mount. Yeah. So I'm screwing it in. Guess what? The threads at the bottom of the walkie, uh, selfie stick, psh, garbage. I'm, I don't even think it's metal on the bottom. Of it. I think it's chromed plastic. I don't know. It's like, okay, this, so this isn't going to work no matter what. So it's like, okay, plan B. I took one of my armatures, put it back on the desk. And, you know, I can move this around and do whatever I want. It's great. But I want it to be strong because I don't want the camera to vibrate. So it's yeah. very stiff. I got three super stiff armatures. And I got other ones of varying degrees of quality and strength. But this one's good. This camera isn't even moving, even though, the, like, I got to touch it to make it move. This one here, the bottom screen, wee, right under you. But once I stop it, even the fan blowing on it, that doesn't move. So it's like, that's a good one. But it's not where I want it to be. I still want it a three-quarter over my shoulder. So I hey, will figure something out. Uh-oh. Must have heard us talking about it. We were talking about I, your slow speeder. Yes, sir. I, I, I hear you build snow speeders now. <laughs> so now me and Ryan are kind of planning a at least a dual stream or something, maybe. And that baby is right behind me. So it's this gray, then it must be this. Too many of these colored parts. Now, do you, Corey, do you have the original snow speeder? So I'm curious what you would think, how it compares. Because I built the first one. So I'm curious what you think, what you think of the build. Like buying this one, I think it's a superior build, but I won't know until I get around to it. No, just that one for the UCS. Okay. Like I said, I'm convinced it's a superior build anyway, not just because it's newer. I just think it looks really good. I think Lego's instructions sometimes are backwards. Like it's easier the way I build it. Step one, step three, then step two. Because <laughs> I'm convinced I know better. So how are you doing on what you're working on there? Right? Uh, I'm just working on the last wing. 
Oh yeah, want to show? Sure. Yeah, let's. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. I'm trying to remember if that one had figures with new helmets or not, if there was an issue closing um, that canopy. I can't remember no, now. No, these ones have uh, the, what do you call it? The, uh, the visor or whatever is like printed on the, on the head. Oh, okay. I mean, I like the dual mold helmets, but they were a pain in the butt. And they screwed up more than one build with them, I think. Oh, so, so some of them, uh, there's like misprints, you mean? Or? No, the um, so the dual molded new helmet, you know, the clear visor plastic is a separate piece of plastic, but it's part of it, right? Yeah. But the helmet is physically bigger, and on some builds, some sets, when you try to close the canopy, well, the larger helmet kind of interferes a little. And I think I thought that was one of the sets, but maybe I'm wrong. That is so odd. Just looking at this build, okay. Hmm. So far, so good. I haven't been missing any pieces anyway. Yeah, I'm happy too. It's never a good sign when you see, oh, bag is ripped. <laughs> I know this this lot of sets was a hell of a good deal. I got, I don't know how many. I built a lot of them actually on our streams. And I think maybe only a couple of, like, I think there was like 10 sets I got for like 90 bucks or some damn thing. Nice. They've, yeah, pretty much all been complete. Definitely all the figures so far have been there. <clears throat> oh, boy. I got to put more stickers on round crap. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, you know the one I hated doing, and you put stickers on the round part, was on the U-Wing. I hated that. Oh, <laughs> It was really? back the engine part or something. That something tells me I kind of mucked it a little bit and just I didn't get them started in the right spot. So yeah. when I put the engines on, they yeah, just didn't quite don't look just perfect anymore. So I'm always referring to the box art. It's like, okay, I know I got a sticker coming up. It's like, yeah, you know what? I feel like putting it on ahead of time. Well, I sometimes don't understand why they don't have you, like, they wait till you put the piece on the build and then get you to try and stick the piece on there. That is the it. worst. It is the worst. How much is, oh, it's all going to be visible. Sometimes you're lucky and part of what you're going to do isn't even going to be visible. And it's like, yeah, okay. Not a big deal. That is a very passable application. I'll take that. Yeah, let's see. It's good enough for the girls I go out with. Now <laughs> 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 uh, check that. Make sure I'm not being stuck. <laughs> Oh man, this is definitely one of the stickers that was kind of mucked up. It's like, uh, this won't stand up to close photography. <laughs> I might yeah. have to take pictures and video very carefully or just wait for new stickers. But, like, yeah, the application was great, but yeah, this was definitely on a bad rolled part. What can I do? Okay, so. I need two. B 
be funny if I did it on the wrong gray. Then I'm going to be really screwed. Yeah, dummy, that's what you get for jumping ahead. That wouldn't be the dumbest mistake I made with a sticker, that's for sure. I've outright put it on the wrong damn shape part. Double dumbass on me. Yeah. It's like, what the hell were you doing? Honestly, you want to do Lego sets good? Don't do them on stream. Oh, look at my camera go to hell. Thank you, StreamYards. Oh. oh, this one. This is the one, huh? Great, I'm good. It'll clear up. <clears throat> See, there's absolutely no reason for that one to be doing that. I'm going to let it. Come on, clean up you. I don't know how long it's been that pixelated. What are my options here? Remove from stream, solo layout. Removing from stream doesn't clean it up automatically, though. Actually, there we go. Better. See, no rhyme or reason. Why would one out of three see each, you know, these are three tabs in Chrome, yeah. same Chrome browser. Why would one go ape shit? Don't know. Do you know? Although, um, so since my last stream, I had noticed that we were having problems streaming uh, YouTube and Netflix. We had a couple of bad days with yeah. the internet. And, you know, it would kick out for about, 40 seconds to about two minutes and then come back in. We hadn't called, we hadn't called the carrier or anything. We were just diagnosing it on our own. Yeah. And eventually I did the old, you know, unplug it and then uh, let it sit for five minutes, plug it back in. Haven't had an issue since knock on wood, but yeah. Yeah. Don't know. See, I mean, we're so used to having our stuff on perpetually for, you know, forever never yeah. turning our shit off anymore and we're really bad with that in my place and so, you know the stuff really needs to get turned off sometimes yeah i know we get that here every now and then something will go glitchy and yeah i'll go and i'll go and pull the plug on the modem or whatever you call it and let it reset yeah no sometimes it just uh Things get better no, when you do that. Computer, my computer at work, like I, I used to rarely ever shut it off. I just put it to sleep when I leave for the day. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, one day it just like will not work. So <laughs> yeah. Force it, force it to shut down, eh? And you restart it, and and suddenly, hey, it, it's working again. Yeah. Find out that's oh. kind of important. <laughs> okay, these are these horrible parts. Oh, and I gotta get this right. And they want me to put stickers on them. Oh, it's one sticker each. That's not as bad. And that's gonna be in the middle. Hmm. Okay. So, thrust through so the splits at that end. Huh. One big piece, yes, one big piece. This is still going to be hard because I'm I've got to measure around around <laughs> around a round cylinder. <laughs> one thing's too bad on these sets; they didn't. Uh... They should always make a place that you can like store the weapons and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, I love I love when all the parts and all the figures and all the weapons can fit inside. Okay, I am really pleased with that. That looks really good. I need to do that with the other one. 
now, not later. This is the most I've touched any stickers with my hands ever. <laughs> like. Wow, we're committed now. I would hate to be the eight-year-old. What is this, ages seven to 12? The seven-year-old trying to put these stickers on. Yeah. Because this this one's miserable. <laughs> well, I remember watching Nathan when, when he was younger, trying to cut the... Uh, because he didn't want help. He wanted to do the stickers himself. And I'm just watching and I'm cringing. Cringing when he's doing it, eh? He's <laughs> like, oh, mm, no, you're going to get uh, e. <laughs> It's probably why my dad took a lot of that duty off my hands, you know. He just, he was such a control freak. Just, there's no way. And it's not that he was great, because he wasn't. Yeah, I mean, he painted some of my Star Wars stuff. I told you this story, and it's like, uh, it's not like he even did a great job with the right colors. <laughs> I think he just enjoyed it so much he didn't care. Yeah, but um, yeah. Actually, now <laughs> he's getting better at deckling, but he'll even sometimes he's like, "Hey, hey, Dad, you want to put this sticker on?" Like, sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, my wife. My wife does pretty good. But even she will say, "Hey, you know, this one might be tricky, or do you want to take a crack at it?" Yeah, it's the those small ones that go on like a one by two tile, or a one by or a two by two round. They, I drives me nuts. And then when you jump to the big ones like the UCS decal or something like that, those are the ones yeah. that give me relief. Either really small or really big. Ones in between, I'm getting pretty, pretty darn good at. Well, there, that's my first snow speeder. I I don't think I'd want to do any circle one by ones. <laughs> I really oh, wouldn't yeah. want to sticker those. And you know, there probably is some. I don't know if I've ever run into one, but there's got to be. I I don't think I have either, but. There's got to be, right? I'll show you this. I got uh, oh. so when I was getting gathering all those UCS parts, um, the canopy for the B wing. Yeah. So there was one seller in Canada that had one. So I ordered it. And then I was ordering some last parts on the bricks and pieces site. And I used the actual part number and it popped up, but it gave the description was wrong. It said, oh. this is a, what they call this a 10 by six by four or something. Sounds and they call right. It a, and they call it like a 10 by four by three or something like that on the Lego site, but it was using the original part number. <clears throat> so I was like, God, I don't know. So I was like, I'm going to order. It was like four bucks on the Lego site. And I bought a u good used one from a, a store, Bricklink store for 10 Because I knew wow. it, it was right. But I was like, God, if this other one is cheaper, I didn't know what to do. So I ended up ordering both. And it came. And they were <laughs> both right. They were both right. So now I got a used one, <laughs> extra B-Wing canopy. So if anyone's looking for one, I got <laughs> well, it's a like one, of my, one of my pride and joys is having the, uh, ex the extra... Uh, TIE Fighter windscreen because it's oh, like 75, yeah. 75 to 150 bucks. And that's yeah. like, yeah, oh, I like well, that part. Too, uh, look, and they they printed the canopy. Why yeah. couldn't they have printed the UCS sex with canopy? Yeah, I know. And that's a curved yes. surface, too. It's like, yeah. It, I mean, their decision making. I guess I could I keep know. this and ever make some sort of a ship mock. I guess I got a ca cool canopy I could use. Mm. Well, you could probably make a good <laughs> jet, jet fighter with that piece. It probably make oh yeah, nice, you know, nice rounded. Oh, those 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 freaking Colby sets. 
<laughs> those, things are cool. those things are really cool. I'm I'm actually really impressed. Um, I was looking. There's like Top Gun sets. Have you seen any of those? Uh, I seen one there's or two like, that Cat Cabbage had done. There's like an F F18 and stuff like that, and that actually has like printed tile that has like Lieutenant. Pete Mitchell Maverick or whatever it goes on. To oh, like, nice, nice, cool. nice. It's cool. It's got like a stand and everything. Well, I keep forgetting we got a Top Gun movie coming, right? Well, and, uh, yeah. The, 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 I, I don't know when when it's actually well, going to come. But. Well, they keep pushing this shit back. Yeah, oh, no what way. was on the news today? Um, Tom Cruise, he either has COVID or he's had to take a 14-day leave because of exposure to COVID. Oh, so, really? filming of the, the most recent Mission Impossible is delayed by two weeks. And, of course, what came back up was him berating some of his staff last year when he was saying, you know, I'm trying to protect everyone and keep this movie on schedule and this and that. And yeah. if you guys screw up again and not wear your mask, you're gone. And, yeah. and I, you know, I totally get where he's coming from with that. But, it, like, it, people were trying to paint it like he's a bad guy. And it's like it's a multi-million dollar production. He's trying to keep everyone working when no one was yeah. working. Um, yeah. Does everyone want to make money or do you want to? Uh, yeah. 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 I you guys to. are only working in one of the hardest hit industries. So it's like, <laughs> you want to be home right now? Like guys who run restaurants? No. <laughs> Put yeah. your mask on stupid. Doesn't matter if you believe in it, just do it. Yeah. That's the thing at work. It's like, we're not asking you to believe any of this stuff. We're not. Just do as you're told. It's your job. Well, that's just it. Like, it's funny. People, yeah, everyone's allowed to have their views, but I talk to a lot of people in the healthcare industry, and it's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's real. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. It's not fun. I feel no. bad for I feel bad for a lot of people in these last couple of years. One of them's the nurses. Well, yeah. I love I love we're hearing how much money is being thrown around to try and encourage new nurses to join the industry, and you know what? It's not enough money. People are saying, "Screw this." Yeah. A, I don't want to be exposed to stuff. B, um, we're still going to get treated like shit. Um, yeah. Forget it. <laughs> yeah, shit hours. Yeah. Pay. Yeah. No relief. Working endless days on end. Like. Yeah. And and like no real uh, gratification for like you don't get to go into that for the gratification, but no, you don't get any. Period. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. I got a sister-in-law. It's a nurse, and my wife is an admin in healthcare. Yeah. But I'm sure glad that she's working ethically in healthcare because we're essential services. So, yeah, meant her kids could keep going to school. So, otherwise, we'd be in the whole remote learning here now. And that's another thing they announced they've closed schools for the rest of the school year. So, oh, yeah. Well, you guys are getting smacked around pretty good right now. I, I think so we're we, we were that, we were yeah. hoping they were going back, but then about a week ago it was pretty clear they weren't going back at all. So it's like, yeah. oh well, there's another school year done. <laughs> well, they like a week ago they extended it for another week, and uh, they extended it to like the twelfth, and then they went ahead and announced it yesterday. Yeah, I think it was just yesterday they went ahead and just said no, it's it's done. Wow. Yeah. I was kind of making out with her classes and everything. Like that, she's that age group are the ones I feel for the worst because they've basically their eleven grade eleven, grade twelve have been crap. Yeah, she's more or less teaching herself for the most part. Yep. Well, that's, like, uh, that's the thing. My daughter is teaching herself, and you know, next year is it. And that's her high school. It's like, wow, between the first year having a fire, <laughs> yeah, or was it the second year? I mean, yeah, it's just been something else. 
fire and then two years of screwed up school year. Um, yeah. And I feel bad for all the kids who aren't getting real graduations. We were trying to push for outdoor graduation ceremonies and in Toronto, it looks like that's not really going to happen anywhere. Yeah. It's, it's all going to be virtual online garbage. It's like, wow, they're not even going to get, uh, cause I know the kids, the kids would love, you know, put them out in the rain. They don't care. <laughs> yeah. They just love to have a ceremony with their friends. Like, no, yeah. not going to happen. Well, and you can, you can arrange it. So everyone's safe. Like it can be done. It just, oh, for sure. For sure. Like, that's like, in, I can, it's, I find it really comical that they close, like it's illegal to golf in Ontario. That's like the one sport that you could conduct safely. Yeah. Socially distance. And yeah, no. And they've done it. And I think it sounds of it in Manitoba. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You basically, you can, the courses are still open, but you have to, you want to be with your family group. You can't. Yeah. 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 Well, Ontario, you can you can golf now, but it's like um, they opened it up a week or two ago. But it's like you come on the course, you play, you get the hell off. You yeah. can't go into the restaurant, can't go into whatever gimmicks they have on the property, yeah. and you gotta get no, off the property afterwards. No, probably no beer cart. That's the one thing that was the enjoyable part of the whole. Version. Yeah, that was that was mine because I it's not like I was gonna have a good golf game. Just yeah, gonna, I was gonna enjoy a couple beer and a couple Caesars on the course. That was the fun part. A nice lunch. Usually, yeah. food's really good at the golf course. It's yeah, like, get a little exercise, walk through some tall grass. Yeah, <laughs> get to pick off a few wood ticks. So I know, like when I joined, the I was company, I'm, the now, and I'm walking rough. <laughs> I'm golfing. I mean, golfing was one way to work your way up in my company. If you could go out and play golf with the boss or at least show oh, up, yeah. let him win. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, that always helped. But yeah, now you can't even do that. What am I missing here? Okay. Yeah. So I must say, I'm liking my new camera setup. This is working okay. I think now I can make some of my wires more permanent because what's cool is you don't see the menagerie of wires that are everywhere. Yeah. It's horrible right now. Uh, I'm an elect electrician nightmare. <laughs> I forget what's under the desk. It's it's. I, I I'll have to take one picture of it. Just so people can see the horror story. <laughs> yeah, would you like to be a YouTuber and record what you do on your desk? This is what you got to do. Oh, and you got this is just one computer and one screen. It's like, oh my god, it's so bad. Uh, imagine if I get that other computer built this summer. It's like, it's only going to get worse, not better. Yeah, I forgot you're going to be building a PC. Yeah, um, at some point. The, yeah, the money's there. It's, I mean, because really, I don't have to do much. Like I said, I'm going to steal a video card for my daughter, so I don't have that headache. So and that's you, a, well, well, there's onboard on. video. There's onboard video already. So, it at least with the onboard video with the shared RAM that is already on that board, it can't be any worse than this laptop, and it should only be better because there'll be mm -hmm. a lot more RAM. Um, and with all the separate USBs on it, that could only be better for all my video. Um, and I'll instantly update my stream yards and other software where necessary to the higher res for sure to the highest that these cameras are all can do because this is not the best they can output this can all be visually better without me buying new cameras um, trying to think what is a power supply case I won't buy a video card if I don't need to I'll steal one and I probably don't need hard drives because I get the boot drive. I could honestly do it for and be very happy, I think. 
and that would be an expensive case. I could do a cheap case for 40, but it would it'd be tin foil thin. I don't think I'd ever want to go cheap, cheap, cheap. Yeah. I mean, I once had a case that was three hundred dollars, dude, that you could stand on. It was a Lee and it was you, you don't know it, but it's it's a Lee and Lee case, brushed aluminum, as tall as my hip. It had hard drive space for twelve hard drives, and I stood on that case just to prove how massive and impressive it was. And then I had a die cut window put in, and all this other shenanigans, because well, that's what we did back then. We were stupid. We like to show off two of those are there. No sticker there. Let's see. Oh, we're definitely close here. I think I'm closer to the end than you are, or are you already done? I, I'm done. Oh, you're I'm done. Just... I was wondering because I haven't seen your moves. Like, oh, damn. <laughs> I'm messaging Ken there finally. Oh, okay. Let's see. Two of these. And is there another piece here? <laughs> Why would they have me do that? Maybe this is a gimmick. Let's see. One of those. So, yeah, I'm liking the visuals. Oh, there goes my lights. I tell you that AC on this one line that goes around this part of my place, like it's just bad for power cycling. Thank God it's only the lights. <laughs> yeah. Computers on the battery backup. That's why there's no issue with the bat with the uh, computer. But it's like, oh man, that's just brutal. Okay, that's cool. And I need one more of those. So if I got two. So how many, how much, uh, how long do you think the time lapse went? Oh, for what we've done or for what you've done and then yeah. how, how much did it condense to? Yeah. Okay, so you're letting the, you're letting the Apple do it. You're letting the iPhone do it. Um, eight seconds. Uh, twenty-seven. Was 27. Oh, that much. Okay. Yeah. It, it's funny, like, so when I did the helmet, what I realized is the longer you tape, the more it condenses it. So yeah, I I didn't realize that. So that first night, I did like I was up. I was down here from 7 p.m. till midnight. <laughs> All of a sudden, I was like, holy crap, I got to get to bed because I got to work in the morning. <laughs> and, and look, I only had 38 seconds of time left. Well, on the next night, I put two hours in and I had 30 seconds. <laughs> and I'm like, holy crap. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So a question I had, I noticed, so you had your camera in that holder, your mount there, but you saw the screen. So you were using the, um, I want to say the front facing camera, your FaceTime camera to do yeah. the recording so you could yeah. see the screen. Yeah. That's not your best camera though. You know that, right? Oh, really? It would be better to have it the other way. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, okay, okay, so. All, I did, all I did was set it up. Yeah. And then flip and I just I flip the screen. So yeah, if you could see your screen, the camera yeah. that's facing you, yeah, it's it, it's a fine camera, but it's not as good as the one on the back. Uh, okay. I'll remember that, that night. Vi vi visual detail? Yeah. And, and don't get me wrong, some of the front ones have gotten better and better and better, especially with the newer phones. But yeah. 
yeah, if you can set it up, I know it's going to be bad because you won't see it while you're working. Yeah. But yeah, set it up visually. That'll be your yeah, best yeah, yeah. view. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll remember that for next time. Yeah, because I it was just for ease that yeah, because I glance up at it every now and then. But yeah, I'll have to because uh, easy now. Just flip the other way and get it pointed where I want it and hit record and sit down. I mean, it's probably still HD anyway, but whatever is on the other side is your best camera for sure. Well, okay. No matter what iPhone you got, do you know which one you got? Yeah, it's an eleven. Oh, jeez. As good as your front, yeah, as good as your FaceTime one is, the one that faces you, yeah, the one on the back is, yeah, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you'll have even better stabilization. I don't know if there is stabilization on the one that faces you, but the one on the back, you probably have it. Light, uh, just everything's going to be better. Well, the, like the give vlog. It, give, 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 it a sh stuff, give it a sh yeah. yeah, for vlogging and stuff facing you, that's fine because you do want to yeah. see yourself. Yeah. It helps you because the thing is when you use the other one and you can't see your face, then you don't know what it's really looking at. Yeah. But for your time lapse, though, take that half second, look on the other side, make sure it's aimed where you want, and then just let it do its thing. Okay. You'll like it better. Yeah. Well, I know like it definitely the other camera, like it is, it's good because like when I shot that, well, that footage when we went to Winnipeg there, it was it was all really good footage. Like, oh yeah, camera. No, it looked great. Don't need a. Uh, don't need a. Uh, oh crap! What do you call them? Uh, GoPro or anything like that. Like that works just. just fine for hey, GoPros can awesome. be expensive. I mean, if you get the newest one, you can spend five to eight hundred bucks easy. Yeah, well, I saw that like. Because remember, Brixie bought one there a little while back. He was looking. Because I think he bought one, and then he turned around, went back, took it back, and got bought a different one. Oh yeah, different, a different, a different uh, GoPro. Yeah, I think he won one, and then he realized it wouldn't do what he needed it to do, so he had to turn around and dump a bunch of more money into one. See, GoPros are funny. They're great cameras. Um, but they're they're still best suited for outdoors in the light and using them for action because their lens has a lot of distortion. Um, it's great because it can you know you you bring in a lot of detail, but yeah. it's not flat. And it's it's I mean these Logitech cameras are kind of the same way. This is not bad. Like when you see my desk here, it looks relatively flat and not too distorted. Yeah, but like when I used to have it as a bird's eye, once you increase that distance, like right now, this one to the desk, I don't know, surface two and a half feet, whatever tops. Yeah. Once you get beyond, because these are meant to be cameras aimed at your face at a computer. So it's only meant to work so far away. Yeah. But once you go four feet or more, like I used to have with the bird's eye, you get a very rounded view. So stuff in the center was great. But when you got to the outer edge, it was really <laughs> curved cockeyed. And, uh, and I would spend so much time trying to tweak it and make it straight. It's like, no, you can't. The camera is what it is. And you're using, I, I was using it wrong. Technically, I'm still kind of using it wrong. These are not the best cameras to use for this kind of work. The one aimed at me is doing a great job. But in actually, that's funny. That one's the furthest away from the source. That one going in my face. Everything else is much closer to what it's aimed at. Yeah. Now that I think about it. But clearly, this doesn't look too bad. And it doesn't look like it's being curved too much oh this is a flick fire gimmick all right well we'll never play with that <laughs> so look at this here before i finish the build yeah i'll move some stuff out of the way so you got these two little pull, push things and you go fling fling <laughs> i don't know why people thought this was such a good idea it just looks like butt I saw one guy who posted a video on every click fire or gimmicky Lego missile launching thing that he's removed from every set. And he had like 150 launchers and all these flick fire missiles and all this other. He had quite the collection of crap he never put on his sets because he just thought they looked like ass. And I got to admit, he was right. The uh, that 60s Batmobile or whatever. I the one gimmick of that that I like is you can have those uh, 
you can have the stud shooters or take them off and and smooth the the hood off. Do you remember seeing oh, that? Oh, mm-hmm. I haven't seen A one modified, mm-hmm. so that's cool. Well, no, it, it's it's meant that like uh, they designed it that way. You can build it one of two ways. Oh, with well, either the nice. stud shooters or you remove them, and there's a couple tiles. I think you fit into that spot and it smooths smooths the hood off. And then you I can like store that. the stud shooters I think in the trunk of the car. Actually. I like that. Maybe Lego's changing and they're not getting so stiff in their I old saw ideas. Somebody who they I think it was Ash and Flash, I think I watched had done a review when it first came out and showed it. I was like, oh that's cool. Because actually and there's another set I remember that's one I do want to get. Actually, if it had been in store when I bought R2 D2, I would have bought it too, but they they sold out of it. Well, Actually, I think it came out a couple days before maybe the fourth weekend. Okay. If I remember correctly, she said they had just sold out like two days earlier. Oh, man. We're finally at the point where I got to use the worst sticker. (laughs) Uh, The worst, worst, worst sticker. I don't have an... Okay, good. I have some garbage Lego I can... Put this on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is so bad. Wow, that just makes it look worse. I just peeled up the bad, the worst sticker in the bunch. <laughs> that should help it stick awesome. <laughs> <laughs> if I got another one of these Lego pieces, I might just crazy glue the damn thing down. <laughs> might save me. <laughs> it might yeah. save me like 20 bucks. Uh, just get out the Elmer's glue. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's not going to be good. Is that going to work with plastic, though? Paper to the plastic? I, no <laughs> I don't know. That sounds like something my kid would do, though. Yeah. Well, the glue we, stick. Well, well, you know what I'll do is I, well, I, not like I'll be taking pictures anytime soon. I'm so far behind on everything. But what I'll do is I'll wait a week or two and see what happens. And if they peel, I'll order the stickers. If they don't peel, then it'll be fine. But you know what they should have done with this set? Is I don't know if you remember in the in the TV show, they were towing the little cart behind it that had what what was it Jabba the Hutt's like cousin or whatever. It, yeah, not in it. See, it's you can't the- see it, but that's what the picture I use for the background. But because we got too many screens going on, oh, okay. It's yeah, uh, yes. Jabba's nephew cousin, whatever it is, is actually right behind my headshot. Oh, <laughs> because I actually har- had a hard time finding some good background images and I was like oh you know what maybe I'll just use the Lego box I didn't want to do that so yeah that's actually the shot I end up finding that I could use it's funny that you brought that up <laughs> yeah actually I think I'm right around that time like I had started like I I watched all the Clone Wars before season 7 came out but yeah, I was, I, up, I was up to six, I think, or up to five, I think, originally. And I had to go back and rewatch it when seven came out. Now, I was only going to do six and seven, but, yeah, I plowed through it. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I'd never seen any Clone Wars, so when it got released to Disney+, Plus, and I knew that season seven was coming in, like, February... So, yeah. like, when we started, like, Mandalorian, I was watching Mandalorian episodes, plus I was binge watching Clone Wars and I did that and I went back and watched Rebels again. <laughs> well, I was watching like that four or five months there in 2019, I guess then. Yeah, I watched a crap ton of Star Wars content. <laughs> right the only winter I was that's all I watched was Star Wars stuff. The only thing I haven't yeah. watched completely, at least I don't think so, is the Freemaker. 
Oh yeah, I haven't either. The Lego, and I was watching yeah. it, and it's like I kind of fell out of love with it, so I didn't finish it. Yeah, well, I was. Yeah, I watched the odd episode with Nathan, but yeah, I wasn't. Some of them are okay, but they're yeah pretty childish. Yeah, it was. It, that's what it was geared towards. Yeah, it wasn't a yeah. cup of tea. Yeah. Clearly, we're not the target audience. Yeah. Actually, I think we're not the target audience for a lot of it, but uh, that <laughs> yeah, that in particular, yeah, it was pretty uh, tough to see. Well, I, f- I figured that's why I can't get it in Ninjago because I would look at it. It's like, there's nothing here for me. Yeah, I, g- I-, I can absolutely get how seven year old me would love it. Yeah. But, you know, 40, 50 year old me, uh, 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 nope, yeah. n- just nothing there for me. But when seeing a lot of people have hated on the movie. I thought the movie was great. I liked Ninjago movie. I didn't mind the movie. Oh, look I, liked I, actually, it. I actually finished this thing. Let's see. I'm just looking at this back page. And again, I think Jack and Chan, he's pretty good. Anything he's done. His newer stuff, mind you. Here's a set I don't have. 8089 Hoth. Hoth, Hoth Wampa something. Wampa Cave. Yeah. Yeah, that's I really- don't have that, and I'm pretty sure I don't have that Wampa either. Yeah, I actually just seen that the other day, and I'm like, oh, that's one I probably want. Because you actually have Luke sticking upside down in the cave and stuff. But this is this is pretty sweet set here. Let's see. Now, apparently there's a gimmick here. Oh, there we go. Look, it's got a trunk. How cool is that? You got this, and then you can pop it. It's got enough space you could hide a person, I'm pretty sure. Now let's take this a-hole. A-hole. <laughs> oh, so close. Come on. Really? You tell me only the... Okay, if you put them in cockeyed... No, you can't. Nope. It's so close, but you can't do it. You can put their, their guns in there, but you can't put... You can't put a person... It looks like you can, but you can't. Still a neat-looking ship. <laughs> How about this a-hole? <laughs> <laughs> this a hole. Mm-hmm. We'll try and keep it PG. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that come out really nice. I like some of it. Looks like a fish or a whale almost. <clears throat> I saw some of the speeder. I got. i What I'm gonna like to do is build the ATAT, and. Whether I get a base plate or something, when I have it in the, I want to put it in my D uh, twelve and have it like stepping on the snow speeder. Oh yeah, <laughs> and I look kind of neat little display. Well, you know, you get that, you get the uh, clear fishing wire. You know, <laughs> hang them up, have it fly around the feet or something. Yeah. You know what's even better about this set? No odd looking pieces. Left over. Everything looks normal. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, no one by four. That's not supposed to be left over. I don't yeah. think. Yeah, the only problem with that camera is that angle. I might lower that. But then if I lower that, then it's just it sits there and it aims at my stomach or something. Yeah. The only reason it doesn't right now is I zoomed in and then I shifted the camera with the software so it moved up. Otherwise, it would be showing like from the top star on my chest. Is but if I did the, that, it would probably give a better angle for the builds. But Is that the figure you got in the set? Is so the, the white guy? one, white one is one of them. Yeah, that's the commander or captain. That's the yeah, Senate he's, captain. He's got no, no printing on your legs, right? Uh, yeah, no printing on the legs. Yeah. It's a bl- okay. black hips, blue legs. Yeah, I got. I have that. That's. I have that figure from that set. That's it. Yeah, if you look, he's got just got typical Clone Wars, oh, you know, uh, yeah. weird yeah. eyes. And then the, the regular trooper one has just got black print. Yeah, I think. I had to think how I ended up with that one. 
That might have been a Brad Brad thing that I added on. I kind of think it is. Yeah, I'm glad, I, I'm glad I got out of buying the loose minifigures because while it was nice having envelopes every day show up in the mail, yeah, it got expensive. Like, <laughs> yeah, definitely was I, that. I think the my habit at one point for minifigures was a mm, hundred a week. <laughs> no, no, it was it was bad. Like it was really oh. bad for a while, and not even like I wasn't finishing sets. I was just, hey, these are cool figures. Yeah, and then and then it got worse because it wasn't just Star Wars figures. Like, oh, you know what? I'll get these four Indiana Jones figures, or yeah. I'll get. And it's like ah, and the reason I said that is because I know they're handy. There's some, <laughs> and they were really cool figures. Like, oh, I'll get them as a set, you know. Yeah. But yeah, it's. Mm -hmm. And that's no, it's just the odd one. Like if I'm already in a store and I'm getting parts, like finish the set, and then I'll then I'll go and look at figs and stuff. Like <clears throat> then it kind of makes sense. Oh, I can add in something if it's something I actually would want. But, yeah. <clears throat> excuse me. Bless you. Did I tape that? Oh, I taped that camera. Dumb me. <clears throat> I need to make sure it wouldn't fall, so I put duct tape on the back of it. <laughs> I tell you, uh, can I reach it? This stuff. I have a roll everywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. Always within arm's reach. I love this stuff. <laughs> Just don't ever leave it on paper, right? Like, if you got an important yeah. because there's oils in the glue. Yeah. And if you were to leave it there, trust me, you're going to regret it the next day. Yeah. I don't leave that on my desk and I don't leave it on paper because you yeah, if, it's, if it's good duct tape, you'll regret it. Yeah. Or especially if it's hot. I've seen it. I've seen it leaching oils or something onto all kinds of material. It's like, nope, nope, nope. Oh, look at this. I, I just realized, yeah, I got the turbo tank here. So I got two Cad Banes. Now, here's the thing. Turbo oh, tank. Yeah, he's in the old... Okay, yeah. Let's see, without mixing them up. So from what I can tell, they look identical, but the turbo tank one has the smaller guns, which are better. And this one here for the speeder just has a typical stormtrooper small rifle. Okay. Yeah. But it is really cool that Cad Bane from the turbo tanks got smaller guns that are much more appropriate to the character. The um that Mandalorian fighter they released, it uh, you see they're using different blasters in it. Eh? They're not using the normal trooper blasters. They're a, kind of a special, different one you don't see in Star Wars ever. So kind I wonder if it's a, a new blaster or did they use this one from the 20, I want to say 13 tank? It's like a blocky looking thing. It kind of looks a lot like uh, a lot see. like the so, uh, here, so here's the gun on this. I don't know if you can see this. I, 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 I think it's different than that yet. Really, eh? Okay. I think so. Because I don't know well, if that's the one's like, uh, do you have, well, you, yeah, I'm sure you do. The Commander Cody fig. Yep. He's got different blasters too. And I'm, yep. I'd have to look at the pictures and see. It might be like that one, but. I know I've got that fig out in the. That was a weird set to have that fig. It was in just that little Geonosis fighter. That yeah. And that, that's actually from the same bunch of sets that I just built this out of. I didn't even realize it. And I finally built it, decided to build it. And then I'm looking at it after. I'm like, wait a minute. That figure. <laughs> Look at that. Do you want to, that's Cody. Do you, want to, do you want to see how bad I am? From the, from the gunship, I had to clear the desk to build tonight. I just took all the figures and put them in a cup. <laughs> I stack them away, like do like every other trashy thing. It's like, because I couldn't shove them all in this thing fast enough. Like, I was too busy doing other things. And it's like, yeah. Now I got to figure out what do I build next that's Clone War era, era. I know there's a bunch of the battle packs that are Clone Wars yeah. era. But... You've probably got... Do you have any of the old, like, uh, AATs or, like, uh, 
Well, to build, that's the thing. What's not built? That's what I got. I got to check the backlog and see what's left from that area. Or, um, you probably, do you have any of like the uh, droid ships? Like, uh, they've got a few different ones. One that looks cool. I, what the heck is the name of it? It's got those great big kind of wheels on it. Um, well, I guess the AAT. I mean, the new AAT. I'm looking at it in front of me. Actually. Yeah. I mean, actually, there's two. You're right. You know what? Those are two sets. And just because they're newer doesn't mean I can't build them. Because there's so, yeah. the new one. They and they won't be too big them. either, which will be nice. Yeah. But I got to get some stuff off the desk. <laughs> yeah. Or. Or a you should I had this plan B idea putting the new shelf over there. Yeah. <laughs> it's like oh god. Problem is I can't figure out I can putting a shelf up isn't hard, but I gotta figure out how to support it. And if I put something at the end of the desk to support the shelf, I will limit what I could do with the monitor. Because this monitor with the camera on top, I can swing it, you know, three feet this way and three feet this way and up and down. But if I make, put something uh, that's going to support the shelf, I'm going to lose a lot of mobility. Make yourself a four by four post and then wrap it with Lego. <laughs> Boy, that sounds familiar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. I don't want to be copying that guy, but it's like, I got so many options. Look at this. I mean, I move this over. Let's see. I mean, and it doesn't take much for me to change a look, right? Yeah. And then I could swing it all the way out this way and actually block this camera if I really wanted to. That's, that's an okay look, too. Yeah. Well, no, that's the thing. I mean, and it rotates, too, if I let it. I can actually take that monitor and go portrait. Not that it would ever help me, because it wouldn't. <laughs> it would just really be yeah. weird. Because then, yeah, wow, that would be so weird. The camera would be way up in the air. I would have to take the camera off. And then I could drop this down. How much? Right. Now, of course, that's not great because then I got to come down. Yeah. <laughs> a million options, but that's what I wanted when I came up with this new setup. Because when I used to have the green screen behind me and I was facing the blue drawers, it's like I had no options. Couldn't yeah. do, couldn't do anything I wanted to do. And now you can walk mm -hmm. around me. You never mm -hmm. see them on camera unless they wave in front of the camera. Yeah. You definitely got a better uh, setup there now that you spun yourself around. Oh, well, trust me. I know I had a lot of resistance at first, but trust me, they all appreciate the fact that I don't have a 12 foot curtain yeah. blocking access to one side of the kitchen, and you'd have to go yeah. 25 feet around to go in the back way into the kitchen. What did you end up doing to get rid of, like, did, how are you storing that? That green screen well, it's, it's, it's just a giant blanket, basically, right? It's uh, like a bed sheet thin. I, thought you I didn't just folded it because it did like a crease or something. Or I no? never even ironed it to tell you the truth. My oh, wife yeah. folded it up a dozen times, threw it in the linen closet, and yeah, I told my daughter she can use it anytime she wants because I mean, it is it's great green screen, and clearly yeah. I got good use out of it for two years, so and it cost me. 30, 40 bucks, maybe 40 bucks. That's 12 okay. by 12 feet. I went overboard, but I just thought it was smart. Most people, if they're going to go green screen, they get something, they figure out what's behind them. They go, okay, I need six feet or four yeah. feet. Or they get a pull down screen. You know, you've seen those. Yeah. Like Sands, whatever he uses, one of those things. And mm -hmm. those are fine. Um, TBC uses one of those too. He has a pull down. But those are heavy and expensive. Mine was cheap. And at 12 feet. I mean, I could do television produ production with that. You know, I could have, yeah. you know, I could take full size people standing up on the floor and do video and photos and do whatever I want with it. Um, but hey, it's always there as an option. And even this setup, this software lets you use green screen. I just can't say how good it is. I mean, I've turned it on once or twice. I'm not impressed because green screening takes a lot of CPU power. Yeah. And admittedly, that was always a problem I had before. It's like it was yeah, always once pushing. You, once you get the new uh, new computer hooked up, then you know, yeah, no, no, trust me. I'm thinking of like I I do want to go back to the old software, even though this can be very simple when it's working right. Yeah. Um, I miss it. I miss the higher res. I miss all the control I had. 
But I got to admit, I mean, this is not hard. I click, click. I do two quick edits. I do my template, put it on. And it's pretty slick. People are always impressed when they see this. So, And it looks like no one else's stream who's using StreamYards. And, and thank God you don't see the stupid duck on my screen. <laughs> I, I've watched 30 minutes of streams today, and I saw like the duck three, or four, three, three or four ducks. And I go, you guys. And they're trying to take, and we're trying to take them half seriously. And these are all guys who are technically making money on YouTube. And it's like, yeah. you got to get rid of that duck. I can't take you seriously. You got a black background. You got a duck over a guy's face. I mean, because <laughs> they had like X number of people on. And it's like, yeah. I can't see one guy's half his face because he's got a duck over it. And then they tried rotating the, the guy away from the duck. And it's like, so now you just screwed someone else. And now they yeah. got the duck on their face. It's like, just have one rotation. Yeah. Oh, so sorry. Your turn. I mean, I very my logo here, my old bricks count circle. Now that's built in. I build that into my template, which uh, I put over the overlay, because if I use the default setup in the software to put my logo in, it's going to be bigger, and it's going to take it's it's going to be probably where, if I lean this way, right now they would cover my face. Yeah, be gone. And I'd be gone. So by making it smaller, I can push it up into the corner using the overlay. It's just a shame now because I, you know, that's a function of the software I don't use. But it's like it doesn't matter. I have more control my way. I'm hoping they make some changes to the software because if they are going to keep continue to charge two tiers, and I'm using the first tier, I think they should give us more options for that yeah. second tier, other than saying it's higher res. Great. Higher res is great. Keep in mind, though, if you're going to run, in my case, three cameras and all of them at higher res, that's still a lot of work for the computer to do just to pump it out for StreamYards to do the rest of the work. So, eh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if at Christmas I'm still using this because I think yeah. I think it was December when I committed to this. I'll bet you if by Christmas I'm not. If by December, we'll see if I'm using it, period. If I'm to that point yet, <laughs> well, it, it's well, easy, but it's, you know, you can, the free version is good enough to figure out if you like the idea of bringing the guests on and using it. Yeah, but if you're not bringing guests on, you'll probably enjoy the power you get with any of the other free options out there before you start paying for those. Yeah, because some of that other stuff for free is just amazing what you can do. And a lot of neat gimmicks and a lot of neat visuals. It's all time consuming to learn, but once you learn it, it's pretty I'll cool. Probably, uh, if I do, I'm probably just going to start just with the stream function right on YouTube. Just have a camera in my, run around my face and whatever. Try I mean, you check this. It. I mean, look, I mean, right now, my stream, if I were to turn off the frills, you'd have a duck more or less where the logo is so let's say what would happen here so okay so we turn that off and where's my background all the way down here we turn that off now that looks a lot more like everyone else's work out there and then you put a duck on it yeah and it, it, you would have this for free that's so i mean that's not, it's not horrible yeah Actually, if there's a way to hide the duck, that would be great. <laughs> well, there's a couple of gimmicks that you can do. It really depends on what your visual is. If you have just one big screen, yeah. well, you could do stuff like put something that's the same color behind the duck, and the duck half disappears. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but there's no way to hack it up. Yeah. Because StreamYard is embedding that on their end. But I definitely like the slicker look of, let's see, Cad Bane Speeder, boom. I've got all my other templates here because, look, I could do this. And look how silly this looks. One-on-one -on -one with Cabbage Bricks. <laughs> <laughs> I really should delete them if I'm not going to use them again. But they're there. It doesn't cost me anything. They're deleted off my machine, mm -hmm. though. A lot of these I don't keep. Actually, that reminds me I need to watch his video. I've, I've tried to keep up and keep watching his videos and commenting. He, he's a nice guy. If he, he always 
always revise everything I post on his yeah. board. No, no, he's super he's nice. When, when I had an opportunity to, to bring him on and stuff like, yeah, I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to, whatever I got to do schedule wise, you know, bend over. It's like, no problem. Yeah. Now it just you know, you build a, a Lego set. He's doing all Kobe. He's just been doing co all Kobe sets. But if he, well, I think he's. Lego I think he's clued in that it's probably going to be better for him in the long run, being one of the few English speaking guys to do Kobe. Yeah, and to do a good job with it. So it's like, yeah, corner corner of the market. Why be one of a thousand guys on YouTube doing Lego when you yeah. can be one of five doing Kobe? reasonably well it's like smart well i was like i said when i saw i saw the that well what do you call i totally i knew the name of that that fighter and then it's totally gone one that pulled the wings pulled up spitfire no the wings uh oh because it was on they used them on carriers and they the wings pulled it up Oh, a, a modern day fighter? Uh, no, there's the one that he showed on your stream. You sure it wasn't a Spitfire? No, uh, I think it started with a C. Well, Corsair, 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 Corsair. Yeah, yeah. I saw that and I was like, "That is so so cool." I want to watch yeah. now. Now that you brought that up, do you remember a TV show Bla uh, Black Sheep? Baba Black mm. Sheep, I think it was called. I want to say it was in the 70s, and it was about guys who were flying Corsairs, and it was such a good okay. show, and a lot of aerial mm -hmm. fights and stuff. I think it was Baba Black Sheep. I got to look it up. It I'll find it out. I'll, I'll find it out. I'll ask my mom. She, cause My mom's <laughs> like an encyclopedia for this stuff, because, of course, it was through her. I started watching a lot of it, yeah. and I'll get back to you on that. Yeah. No, that one doesn't ring a bell. But, yeah, I'm kind of... I make just to open it up then. If we uh, do a new break, open it up, show it off. I think it'll be cool. This means that I'll have to start an area where I put those kinds of stuff, I guess. Yeah. But then already I'm seeing other ones that are re actually really reasonably priced for when you figure out like price per piece and stuff. It's like, oh, I might have to get a few more <laughs> eventually. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I found uh, a site called Play Value Toys. Yes, in um, oh. near Ottawa or in Ottawa, or yeah, they yep. sell a ton of Kobe sets on there. Problem is, oh. they don't do they don't have free shipping. You have to pay for shipping, which kind of are sucks. you sure there's no free shipping at all? Yeah. No, I haven't ordered from them in about two years. Maybe you, you're right. If you I know, think take a look, but I I kind of just played around with it, and I I think I made an account. I'm pretty sure I did, and uh, I tried adding something to the cart. Like I had like a hundred dollar set or thereabouts, and yeah, it, it was going to be another like twenty bucks to get it here. But mind you, like the price, it was still it was actually still cheaper to order through them than for me to get a. Uh, off Amazon or whatever. Yeah, I'm not too shocked. But yeah, wow. Yeah. That but actually, cool. this, this actually this... holds all its spare parts. I had just dumped them all on the desk. Yeah. Like, that's so cool. <laughs> well, I took the spare parts I had left over here. They went in my uh, my my beer cup that I have up there. <laughs> it's almost full oh. of full of spare little parts that eventually I got to sort them back out into the drawers. But I'm too lazy. Don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. I actually need to bring in my captive labor and maybe get the kids sorted again. I had Nathan do that once. We sorted <laughs> colors and stuff. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We used to do it, sit and watch TV and do it, like sit in the carpet and do it. But uh, even, okay. even with our LED lights, the pot lighting, it's not enough. We'd be sitting there and like, it would be hard to tell colors and stuff. I was like, holy crap. I'm not picking stuff up, put it right to my face. Like, like, is yep. that dark gray or what is it? Like, I gotta crap. admit these things. I wonder if I could show you this without destroying my cameras. 
I mean, I must have showed these off before, but this is the cheapest yet for good, bright. Okay. I might regret this. Whoa, right in my eyes. All right. So, I mean, you can see how bright that is, right? Yeah. <laughs> and look what it's doing to. I mean, this is with digital lights. Look at the bands on my screen. I assume you see that on the big screen yeah. right now. Yeah. But, and I probably can't correct that now that I've done it. <laughs> but um, let's see. Nah. <laughs> and extreme soon. But I yeah. mean, you see how bright that is. And it's pure white, 6,500 uh, MCD. And it's beautiful. And it's pure clean white so i mean when you put the color bits beside each other trust me there's no trouble telling what color is what yeah just don't aim it at your eyes because you will blind yourself <laughs> and i got so i got two of these just a foot over my head let's say but um yeah no these are great and, and so um the the three light which folds they technically garage lights, by the way. Okay. Okay. So you can you got a lot of control on how you want to aim the light. Yeah. And it comes not comes. It was a separate purchase. So you get um, twelve or sixteen foot cable with a typical receptacle for any light bulb. Okay. There you go. See, like that. Oh well, yeah. Amazon, they got lots of variations on these. This was yeah, one of the I cheaper ones, and I bought two of these, and then I bought, let's see, two of these, and it comes with a clicker switch, I don't know, halfway along the length of the wire. Okay. Depending on the length of this that you buy, because these are also designed for, you know, kitchens or um, garages, yeah. depending on the length of the wire will determine where the clicker is. Sometimes it's near where you plug it in, sometimes it's halfway along. Um, you could read that up on Amazon pretty easy. But yeah. two and two, I did it for like less than 40 bucks, maybe 50 bucks tops. Mm -hmm. And you see the results. They're super yeah. bright. And because it's a rocker switch, like all I had to do is twist it back on. It's not like I had to go find the thing. And because a lot of digital lights, when you unplug it, they're off. But nope. Yeah. This turned out pretty good. Yeah. What I did, I just got uh, just a Walmart little desk lamp. Just put which is what most people do the only yeah. problem is like some of them are yellow and, and not white as you can yeah. see this is white i put a There's, 5000k uh, light bulb in it so so 5000 is it 5000 white or is it 5000 soft uh, it's white like day, daylight they call it daylight okay yeah that's that's the bulbs i buy so it uh yeah there we go it does a good job Boy, that really screwed up the camera, though. This is now you see the banding. This is a problem with digital cameras and some of these lights. And I, the quickest fix sometimes is to not aim it at my whites because the desk is also a problem, right? Yeah. So let's see. Do you see that? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I don't understand all the science behind it. But it's it has something to do with the flicker rate that you don't see with the human eye with yeah. these lights and the camera, and once that gets out of whack, then you see those bands. Yeah. And that's actually a big problem people have with computer monitors and lighting, especially in office environments where the lights affect your vision and stuff. Your eyes are picking up stuff you don't know. Yeah. I mean, those bands are not gone. We just don't see them right now, or they're not nearly as apparent. Yeah. But if I screw around with the lights again, yeah. And you don't – some of my um, tricks with the visuals where I'm washing it out, out and making it really bright white, I'm doing that to get rid of the bands without having to screw with the camera. Yeah. But as you saw today, I didn't do anything really harsh with the lighting. And I'm going to check afterwards to see how good it came out on the TV. Yeah. Because it was nice to not have to screw too much with stuff. Yeah. Well, it's, it's nice, nice just to uh... – in a few minutes and go just stream not screw around for half an hour 40 minutes playing with the sound. And, and it looks more natural and the detail is actually better than if i had screwed around with it so yeah. well sometimes you've been having to play with like colors and this and that 
I remember. Oh, so my old setup, know. man, it was brutal. One hour setup just because of the three cameras and the angles. Yeah. And as much as I love this white desk and this surface, <laughs> it has caused me so much yeah. grief. <laughs> I don't know what I would recommend for people, but I don't know if I would ever recommend this anymore. Yeah. I'm, Good for me. I'm contemplating getting a like a, a different table. Maybe something from Ikea that because I know Ikea has tables different sizes and you can get those adjustable legs for them. So yeah. you can you can you can get them to go up fairly high. Because yeah. then I can use my uh, like bar bar stool type chair that I have. I can sure. sit and build on that. As it is right now, I gotta sit in a little step stool. But uh yeah, and I could get one that would more or less fill the space. It'd be a, just a little bigger than this, but if it sat higher, it'd, it'd be a lot. It'd be a lot more comfy. That's for sure. The only thing I'd recommend mm -hmm. before you do that with the IKEA table, or or whether it's just getting the table surface and getting those legs that you can twist to extend them, or even getting a rising table, <laughs> try out both in IKEA. Lean on them. See how much flex you got, okay. because. If you're recording or doing anything, depending on how much movement, like this is a heavy steel desk and it doesn't move, especially against the bookcase. Yeah. But, and I got the fan blowing this one camera, the big screen right now, that one camera is only duct taped to the back plane and it can move a little bit when the fan yeah. oscillates. And it's not mm -hmm. bad, but people who are using the soft IKEA tables or even the rising table, there's a lot of flex to it. You should try it out yourself in store. Yeah. You can and just see how much can you lean on it how much does it move yeah if it's if it's unacceptable you may not like it well i know it'll be better than what i have because as it is right now if i got my phone up in this mm -hmm. if i meet put my arm in the desk like it yeah i, I can watch you, the you, whole. You, 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 yeah yeah there's even a couple times i've been shooting a video and uh, i'm showing something off and then I pull my arm back and I bump it. <laughs> and I see the camera go. Like, see oh. if you see if you look at my big screen right now. If you look at the big screen, you'll see it moving a little. Yeah. And it's only because that camera is on a board <laughs> that's yeah. literally only clamped at the bottom to the disc. There's if I would just make a me uh, wood frame or metal frame for that back plane, it'll never move. And that's probably something I'm going to commit to, just because I like having the back being white it's good for photography even on this lower right screen now you can see here like it's a really clean look yeah because otherwise it'd be off the desk and everything would be rolling the best thing i ever did was put that back plane there and plus well, if my wife is working i don't have to see her she doesn't have to see me well my last haul video there i even like apologized like hit the camera i was like oh uh sorry everyone <laughs> 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 Uh, that was my elbow. Uh, yeah, everything's evolving. I'm always changing stuff. But I tell you, these three stiff, stiff armature mounts I got, I, I, I wish I knew the name. I could probably still find them, maybe. But they're the stiffest ones I've got. And then the crappy one I got, this white one way up there that now the light's hanging on because I swapped them today. I figured... Well, the light's not going to move and it won't matter. And it's high enough that it's not getting a breeze from any of the fans. Yeah. But down here at eye level, I need my cameras to not be moving much. So yeah. the st stiffer, the better. And they barely move. Like I literally had to bend them like this. Like I was doing Superman with a crowbar. Like, That's how stiff they are. They're really good. Yeah. And they only yeah. cost me like $3 more than the cheapy one. That's this thing, it's that it stiff the arm. I'm glad you mentioned these. Here, I was trying to make like a cell phone holder out of Lego bricks that I would have sitting up. I played around. Well, one of your streams, I played around Wait. for an hour this, and a half. Yeah. This is this is the old one, and trust me, around. I have mounted this thing everywhere. And by the way, I still use this. By the way, um, I I put Lego like this under it at different yeah. heights with my turntable and this thing is still being used to this day i still use it my first ghetto little thing this clamps onto it ever so slightly and i can touch the screen here to focus yeah and then i'll control it with my watch 
you know, start stop. So I, I don't have to touch the phone to cause any vibration. Yeah. Well, I played around for like an hour and a half while you were streaming. I remember one night. <laughs> well, I've watched, I mean, I know how many times I've watched your phone moving slightly and then yeah. it's like, it's moving. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Well, that's, yeah, I would have it sit in front of me and have it propped up. Yeah, we'd be talking away. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, oh, <laughs> and you're <It's> gone. Like, <laughs> yeah. And I can see the ceiling now. Yeah, every, <laughs> yeah I've been there. <laughs> Oh, you know, ceilings, eh? <laughs> see, I got started just using the cell phone to record and, and doing it live, and then they changed yeah. the rules for who could live stream from a phone. Yeah, That's but I did that. You know, you know, forty-five minutes to an hour, and it's like it was going great. And when it was going longer, the phone would overheat. Yeah, yeah, I remember and it was starting to happen that. more and more often. It's like, damn. I that's how I that's killed the first battery. Yeah. I can fix that problem, like, so I can't use my cell phone to stream directly on Facebook. So I'll, if I end up doing something like that, I'll have to use like StreamYards and maybe run two cameras, and then at least I'll be able to use the cell phone. I think. I, I think. I think so. But you otherwise, know, yeah. <clears throat> I think now that we're closing in on the end of the pandemic, I got a feeling like these Logitech cameras are getting cheap and even if you didn't go logitech there's plenty of 30 40 50 dollar webcams at yeah. hd or better and you know whether you buy one two or three is up to you but you could you could do it cheap and get just as good results for sure and you know this is just a simple laptop pulling off three cameras with stream yards yeah and if you got a better pc it's only going to get better um plus if you fall in love with some of the other software out there other than this. I mean, these aren't the only guys doing this setup. You can get Restream.io, similarly priced, as far as I recall. Very similar functions, maybe even better. Yeah. But I mean, I'm still itching to go back to Stream Labs OBS or regular OBS because of the power functions I had where I was flipping video and turning it upside down and left and right. And yeah, so many awesome things you could do with that that you can't do with this ever. What I have to do is just watch some YouTube videos of how to, uh, how to use some of that software and stuff. Yeah. Teach myself. <clears throat> Fortunately, none of it's too terribly hard and you get to do everything offline and see what it looks like without ever having go online and embarrass yeah. yourself. If that's what you're worried about, All, yeah. you can fully test it out pretty much anything without having to click go live. Yeah. So awesome. Well, well we're both I done. Gonna... <laughs> yep. Let's do that. Go wow, check on, I, I, it's twelve. It's after twelve o'clock my time. Wow. Yeah, that's why he's looking. It's quarter after eleven. I'm pretty sure Nathan's still watching TV, so I better boot his butt dead. So. Well, I am probably gonna do another build stream maybe tomorrow. If I don't do it tomorrow, I'll do it Sunday for sure. But I think yeah, I want to do another one tomorrow night at some point. I could probably find something else. I, I still think I've got. I've got two or three small sets still in a drawer, and then I, I have the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Not ATAT, -AT, the, uh, what's the Clone Wars for, or the six legged walker? Um, oh, um, uh, yeah, ATT. ATT. I have okay. the, the one that came out when the gunship did. Uh, was it 75019? Seven five zero one nine, I think. Yeah, I think that's the set number. I I've got that right. one. It's it was. I bought it. It was already built, and I broke it all down when I first got it. So I, because I wanted to be able to rebuild it, so I have it there too. Nice. We could build that eventually too. All right. Sounds but, like yeah. a plan. I'll check in with you tomorrow. Sounds good. All right. Take night. it easy. You Peace. Bet. Bye.